Chapter 2481 Million Metal Whirlpool D. Fung had also arrived, and he seemed to have become very confident. Upon entering the fourth step of Nether Passage, his aura had changed. It felt foreign, ancient. The only thing that hadn't changed was the wildness deep within his eyes. He was like a wild beast who had been holding back for far too long and could finally bear his fangs. Mo Nian disdainfully said, D. Fang, I know you've merged with the Blood Emperor's heroic spirit, but even with the Blood Emperor's blessing, you are still nothing in front of me. When you sent people to attack the Mo family to draw Long Chen out, he didn't kill you because he was leaving you to me. As for why I didn't go kill you after coming out of seclusion, one reason was my own lack of time, but another reason was that I didn't want to kill you randomly. I wanted to let you see the extermination of the D family, but since you want to die so quickly, fine. Show me just what qualifications the Blood Emperor had back in the day to make my Mo family one of his followers. Mo Nian's bow appeared in his hand. The Mo family and the D family's grudge had been brewing for tens of thousands of years. Despite not wanting to kill D Fung here, Mo Nian was still human and couldn't perfectly control his emotions. I hear that you've gained control of divine energy? I don't know which fallen god became your dad, but it just so happens that I also want to test your power. I can conveniently clean up the ancient family alliance's disgrace as well, said Di Fang. Killing intent rose between the two of them. The other experts were stunned. Although Di Fang was also considered a generation's genius, the strongest expert of the ancient family alliance's junior generation. He had fallen from the ranks of the supreme experts in other people's minds after his multiple defeats by Long Chen. As for Mo Nian, his standing in people's eyes had soared after fighting evenly against the corrupt path Xi Ming. He was now classified amongst the strongest of all experts. That was why others didn't find it strange that Mo Nian would speak so coldly to Feng Fei and Jarishan. He had the qualifications. For Di Feng to challenge Mo Nian at this time was very strange to them though. Had Di Feng truly obtained the blessing of the Blood Emperor as Mo Nian had said? His power had soared to such an extent? Their auras began to climb higher and higher. This would be a battle between a dragon and a tiger. Scram. This is my battlefield. Do you think you clowns can step onto it? Suddenly, the earth exploded. Blinding light filled the air, and sharp blades shot out in every direction. Those blades were metallic runes, and they tore through the air, covering up the sky. Mo Nian and Di Feng's expressions changed. The two of them were still in the midst of gathering their power and were suddenly interrupted by this attack before reaching their peak states. The two of them dashed behind the barrier of the dragon corpse, avoiding the metal runes. Those metal runes had formed a giant whirlpool surrounding Long Chen and Jarishan. What terrifying power! Isn't this kind of power capable of tearing apart the very world? exclaimed someone. Those metal fragments clashed and merged, causing the void to twist. They could see that the earth around the whirlpool was sinking. The world of the Dragon King was deforming. I'll let you live a bit longer. Once Long Chen is done beating his target, I'll slaughter you, said Mo Nian indifferently. That's what I was going to say, snorted Di Fang. The two of them turned their attention to the battlefield. This was an awe-inspiring battle to witness. As the countless runes raged through the air, the center was sluggish like mud due to the sheer number of metal runes. Their weight caused the earth to sink. Long Chen, to be buried within my million metal whirlpool, you can rest content. Jarishan suddenly appeared from within the whirlpool, sneering at Long Chen down below. As for Long Chen, his figure was completely drowned in the countless runes. The two of them were originally at the core of the whirlpool. But with Jarishan's million metal body, the whirlpool did not affect him, allowing him to escape easily while Long Chen was caught. If I did die to an idiot like you, I'd never be able to rest in peace. A little whirlpool thinks it can trap me. Long Chen's voice rang out from within the whirlpool. The rapidly spinning whirlpool suddenly began to slow down, as if some force was preventing its movements. The whirlpool began to shudder, and cracks appeared in the ground spreading to the ends of this world. Heavens, will this world be destroyed? Some people grew afraid. The two of them were monsters. The world was breaking apart as if an invisible hand was smashing it. Jarishan's expression changed. 
the destructive power of his million metal whirlpool had never failed him. No one who had been sucked inside had ever come out alive. Jarishan quickly formed hand seals as he pushed the whirlpool to spin harder. It staggered as if two powers were wrestling it. Long Chen used his own power to resist a power that a human body shouldn't be able to endure. Break. Boom. The whirlpool exploded, with the metal runes dissipating into specks of sand. It was like a rainbow had exploded and landed on the earth. It was a violent and beautiful sight. Amidst the flying sand was Long Chen. At this moment, it was vaguely possible to see a white dragon moving through his scales. The current Long Chen looked just like a dragon god. Damn. He's taken the spotlight from me again. It seems that today isn't a good day for me to fight. Or I'll be relegated to an accompanying act. Mo Nian sighed. When did Long Chen learn such a flashy technique? Everyone was staring in shock at Long Chen. The dragon might pouring out of him was something that made all races submit. Within the multicolored sand, Long Chen appeared indomitable. He was both majestic and solitary, like a figure that had transcended all others. Long Chen clenched his fists. He was filled with excitement as he sensed the dragon blood power flowing through his body. The Dragon King Sr. was wrong. The Azure Dragon Seal does not just possess a state for offense and defense. There is a third state where offense and defense are combined. It seems that even he did not possess a complete understanding of the origin of this Azure Dragon reverse scale. Just now, when he had been trapped within the whirlpool, Long Chen could only stay in his defensive state. But Jarishan's technique was too powerful. It was supported by the power of the entire world. Even Long Chen had felt like he might be crushed. It was at that moment that he seemed to have heard a voice telling him to switch to a fence. Long Chen hadn't quite dared to take that risk, but the instant he switched, the Azure Dragon Seal's rune completely transformed, allowing him to enter his current state. In his current state, he was in possession of his full offensive and defensive powers. He no longer had to switch between them. Furthermore, in this state, Long Chen felt like he had enough power to swallow the very heavens, a power that this world could not contain. Again, space twisted, and Long Chen appeared in front of Jarishan in an instant. Jarishan howled and formed hand seals once again. The scattered sand rapidly flowed toward him, forming a giant shield. Although it was condensed in just an instant, it looked no different from solid metal. It gave off extremely heavy air. However, this giant shield shattered on contact with Long Chen's fist. The current Long Chen had reached an unimaginable level. At that moment, Mo Nian saw his chance. He directly flew over to the largest fragment of the shield. However, the fragments quickly sank into the ground and vanished. Fuck. Mo Nian was enraged. This petty Jarishan was now on guard against him. The distraction of having to regather his fragments allowed Long Chen to land a kick right on his crotch. With an explosive sound, Jarishan was split in two. Everyone let out a startled cry, thinking that Jarishan had died. However, the two halves of Jarishan merged once more. It really is an undying body. If he didn't die even like this, then he had truly transcended the limits of a human. He was an incomprehensible existence. Long Chen seemed to have expected this and was already following up with a palm. Jarishan raised his arm, only for it to shatter. Long Chen's palm struck Jarishan in the face, taking his head off his body and leaving a headless corpse. However, even in that state, Jarishan didn't die. His aura didn't change. Hence, everyone felt a chill. In front of an undying expert, they felt profoundly helpless and afraid. How were you supposed to defeat such an opponent? On the other hand, even against such a terrifying opponent, Long Chen was beating him like a lump of dough. No matter how Jarishan blocked, his body ended up deformed. This was a true battle of the peak. For a moment, everyone forgot about the matter of searching for the treasures in this place. Everyone couldn't help thinking a certain thought. The tough as iron Jarishan versus the iron beating Long Chen. Chapter 2482 Dragon Might Shakes the Heavens Jarishan. Are you still trying to exhaust my energy? You really are conceited. You think that by absorbing the energy of the dragon nest, you have access to limitless power, so your advantage will grow as time passes? Do you think you'll be able to kill me once I weaken? You're wrong. I am not a celestial, and don't need the power of the heavenly deos. 
I can crush you without extracting energy from the world. Since you refuse to bring out your full power, I suppose it's up to me. I'll show you just how laughable this strategy of yours is. Long Chen suddenly summoned the five-star battle armor. A pillar of blood chi soared into the sky. Long Chen's blood chi was like lava, igniting the sky. His aura transformed once more. What? Even now, this isn't their full power. The various experts that had gathered here were stunned. Long Chen's body also ignited, and a blood-colored flame appeared around him. This was not a manifestation but a true flame. Before this, Long Chen had only summoned his divine ring and the power of his astral spaces. He hadn't summoned the five-star battle armor. That was because the Dragon King had used his own essence blood to nourish the Azure Dragon essence blood, helping Long Chen restore its lost power. However, Long Chen's essence blood still had the Dragon King's power remaining within it, which needed to be slowly forced out. Because of it, Long Chen had been using himself as a furnace to purify his Azure Dragon Essence blood. The purer his Azure Dragon Essence blood was, the stronger he was. This was similar to refining pills. He was doing it bit by bit through battle, purifying the Azure Dragon Essence blood from the Dragon King's influence. If he purified it in an instant, his body wouldn't be able to endure the sudden explosion of power, and he would explode. But through this long battle, he had gradually grown accustomed to it and no longer needed to hold back. The Azure Dragon Essence blood was fully unleashed, with all the impurities wiped out. Long Chen was further angered by Jarishan because the latter still refused to use his full power. He was clearly waiting for Long Chen to run out of energy before using one of his trump cards to kill him or perhaps to capture him alive, that was definitely a provocation to him, it just so happened that Long Chen had reached the final step and no longer needed to hold back any longer, the void shook and the earth split open, looking like the apocalypse, Long Chen's blood chi unleashed unprecedented dragon might with the five star battle armor, as a result, the mountains collapsed, those metal mountains of Jarishan's manifestation were unable to bear Long Chen's aura, Long Chen's blood chi is shattering Jarishan's heavenly Dao manifestation everyone watched as Long Chen's blood chi wrecked Jarishan's manifestation. A blood-colored aura crushed the metal mountains. The world was now split between Jarishan's metal domain and Long Chen's bloody aura. Long Chen pressed down the air in front of him, causing the void to crack. In an instant, he appeared in front of Jarishan like an eagle diving down on a rabbit. The world is distorting startled cries rang out. The void was rippling wherever Long Chen passed, and the others were no longer able to see Long Chen clearly. Even his aura was too distorted for them to sense precisely. Boom. Besides, he was so fast that they barely saw him move before he arrived in front of Jarishan. After that, Jarishan raised his arms to block, only to get smashed into the ground by Long Chen's foot. A huge wave exploded out of the ground. Just like that, Long Chen pushed Jarishan through the earth crashing through the metal mountains. Those metal mountains were blown to smithereens, but they quickly grew back as if they were alive. Just like Jarishan's body, they could not be broken. But even as they restored themselves, they crumbled once more. Suddenly, the earth exploded, and Jarishan was kicked into the sky. Long Chen appeared next to him in an instant and slammed his foot down. Another explosive sound rang out. Jarishan himself was blown to smithereens. What Jarishan was killed, that can't be true. Everyone stared, dumbfounded. Jarishan had been blasted to smithereens. He could not be more dead, but people still didn't dare to believe it. No, he's not dead. The tiny pieces of Jarishan merged into the earth and vanished, but his manifestation didn't fade away. Two explosive sounds rang out as Long Chen reached into the ground with his hands. Two dragon claw auras had appeared, tearing into the earth. Rise. The earth instantly swelled, causing everyone to jump. What is he doing? Does he want to flip heaven and earth? In front of everyone's shocked gazes, Long Chen pulled the flattened earth into the sky. What kind of power is this? People's eyes almost popped out of their sockets. Is it the legendary hate the heavens for not having a handle? Hate the earth for not having a hilt when a person reaches a level of power that there is no longer a weapon that can match their might. They wished to use heaven and earth as their weapons. Heavens. Ah. Just at that moment, Long Chen lifted a giant chunk of earth until it was perpendicular to the land. Everyone felt a chill. 
If that giant mass fell on them, would they survive? Long Chen, we didn't do anything to you just as they were worried. Long Chen smashed apart the chunk of earth. There was nowhere for them to run. They could only hide beside the dragon corpse as the very earth fell upon them. Boom. The giant mass of earth smashed into the barrier with a heaven-shaking explosion. This land, which was made of Jarishan's metal mountain manifestation, was smashed apart like tofu landing on a rock. However, the barrier wasn't shaken at all. Jarishan's figure appeared within the smashed apart earth. He coughed up a mouthful of golden blood. The earth was his foundation and gave him limitless power. Even in this long beating, he hadn't suffered any real injuries. It was only now that the source of his power, the earth, had been smashed into the dragon barrier and shattered apart that he was injured. As for his golden blood, it had just appeared when a figure shot over and snatched it. Haha, <laughs> this is some good stuff. Jarishan, you're finally willing to part with something. Mo Nian put away the golden blood with a petty laugh. Although Mo Nian wasn't a forging master, the heaven-swallowing sun hunting bow told him that this essence blood was useful. As soon as he had been told this, he shot into action. Furthermore, as soon as he gave it to the heaven-swallowing sun hunting bow, he clearly felt it strengthen. In Mo Nian's eyes, Jarishan's entire body was a limitless treasure trove. Bastard, I'll kill you. Jarishan roared furiously. He had finally been injured and lost his source essence blood. That was an unprecedented humiliation for him. Die. Jarishan's body suddenly blazed with light. Golden lines appeared beneath his skin, looking like flowing blood. The golden blood condensed in his danshan. After that, golden sand began to flow toward Jarishan from throughout heaven and earth. He became like a blazing sun. Jarishan, is this worth it? Don't forget, we have more important matters. Warn Feng Fei. Shut up. This is my matter. Do I need outsiders to interject? Roared Jarishan. Jarishan was no longer visible within the golden light. The others could only see blinding divine light from his direction. Rumbling rang out from him. It was unknown what he was doing, but his aura was growing more and more frightening. Long Chen simply stood there, watching. He sneered. You should have done this earlier. Why did you have to get slapped and beaten so much before doing this? Why don't you tell me whether or not you think you're a loser? While Jarishan had looked to be getting beaten up before, he hadn't actually been at a disadvantage. He had been trying to use his domain's power to exhaust Long Chen. Within his domain, Long Chen didn't have access to any further energy to support himself. As for the power of his dragon blood, it couldn't be limitless. Sooner or later, he would weaken. Fortunately, Long Chen had the nine-star hegemon body art and sharp senses toward a person's strengths and weaknesses. This little strategy was unable to escape his eyes. Jarishan's goal wasn't to beat Long Chen but to kill him, or maybe even crush him badly in front of everyone and make him beg for death. Perhaps that was the result of his twisted heart. Just beating someone normally was unable to satisfy his depraved desires. Having fully refined the Azure Dragon Essence blood, Long Chen was in his peak state, but he could not keep it up forever. He had to finish this decisive battle with Jarishan quickly. In front of Jarishan whose aura was growing more and more monstrous, Long Chen didn't feel the slightest fear. Instead, he felt more and more of a desire to fight. Boom. The divine light exploded. Jarishan's figure reappeared in the sky, but his current state caused Mo Nian and the others' jaws to drop. Bookmark. Chapter 2483 An arrow at the end of its flight Jarishan's body was no longer flowing with golden blood but a rainbow-colored fluid. It condensed below his danshan. There was a root image there that formed a strange cycle. This is the merger of spirit blood and spirit root. The spirit root is the root of life. It determines a person's talent and divine abilities. How can it be merged with the spirit blood? The spirit root was a ball of root chi located below the danshan. It was the innate foundation of a cultivator. Something that was formed and activated while they were still in the womb. It was the talent that awakened the earliest. It was like a seed that would start germinating immediately. It decided what kind of plant would grow from it. A towering tree had to have an appropriate seed. A bean sprout couldn't be trained into a tree that could reach the heavens. When large sects were recruiting, the main thing that they looked at was the spirit root. However, 
those who were able to become Empyreans had to have at least violet gold grade spirit roots. By that level, the spirit root had reached a limit, so people were competing in spirit blood. The spirit root was the spirit root, and the spirit blood was the spirit blood. There was little in common between them. Now that Jarishan was using his spirit blood to activate his spirit root and unleash unprecedented power, everyone was dumbfounded. This toppled their understanding of cultivation. We can't do this, but that doesn't mean that he can't. Jarishan came with Feng Fei, and he doesn't talk to her courteously. They're clearly experts on the same level, so he is also a sovereign sprout. I have heard that all sovereign sprouts have a spirit bone. It was one of the requirements to become a sovereign. As for us, we have no spirit bone, so we can't judge them according to our standards. Side one person, looking at Jarishan in the sky, they felt a sense of profound despair. To be born in the same generation as such a figure was a kind of sorrow. There was no hope as they could only be suppressed. A sovereign sprout, a sprout that could grow into a sovereign. There was a difference right from the start between them. Whatever they did, they couldn't make up for that gap. The void flickered as if the world was breathing along with Jarishan. He no longer needed his manifestation. In this state, he was the automatic ruler of the world. Die. Jarishan and Long Chen attacked at the same time. One blazed with multicolored divine light, while the other had a blood dragon coiling around him. They were like two shooting stars smashing into each other. The two of them began to exchange a wild howling torrent of blows. Every time their fists or feet met, it would cause the world to shake. Even if I don't obtain anything, just being able to witness this battle makes it worth it. Someone clenched their fists. He had previously been dispirited because he had wished to compete with experts on this level. However, upon seeing the difference and accepting his position as a spectator, he felt a kind of delight. Two peak powers were colliding. Two unbeatable wills were clashing. He was bearing witness to a battle of peak experts. This alone was beneficial to him. Boom. Suddenly, with one final explosion, it was like a star had exploded. A rain of divine light fell from the sky, and the two of them retreated at the same time. They stared at each other. Long Chen had an azure dragon coiling around him like a protector. It made him appear even more attractive. The main thing though was that he was facing a twisted Jarishan who had transformed into a monster. That naturally made Long Chen look better in comparison. Long Chen is starting to pant. He has reached his limit. If this continues, his power will start to flag. That's normal. After all, he's human and not even an Empyrean. It was unbelievable that he was only starting to reach his limit after such a long battle on this level. After all, a person's power couldn't be limitless. You're out of energy. Ha? Huh? Long Chen, you're definitely dead. Jarishan glared at Long Chen, his eyes violet red. They were like the eyes of a beast, sinister and fierce. Even his voice seemed like a growl. He hated Long Chen. He hated Long Chen for forcing him into this state. He hated Long Chen for making him lose some of his source essence. Even if he killed Long Chen, it would take him a long time to recover from this. Long Chen smiled and lightly said, My dragon blood is starting to reach its limit. But what about you, idiot? My spirit blood and spirit root have merged, not just giving a boost to my power, but also creating a cycle that automatically absorbs the world's energy for myself. What are you supposed to use to compete with me? Sneered Jarishan, once more shooting at Long Chen. They began a crazy exchange once more. Jarishan's speech stunned people. If that really was the case, then wasn't Long Chen's defeat set in stone? Jarishan didn't even need his manifestation. His manifestation's power was locked within him, allowing him to enter this merged state. Or perhaps this should be considered a kind of manifestation that was impossible for the spectators to comprehend. Jarishan was constantly absorbing the power of the heavenly deos to support himself, making up for the energy he was using, while Long Chen's dragon blood energy was being exhausted bit by bit. In comparison, Long Chen is stronger, said someone suddenly. Others nodded. Even those who were enemies with Long Chen, when they had to compare, Long Chen was the real terrifying one. If he was an Empyrean with the approval of the heavens, he wouldn't be at such a disadvantage. You're the idiot. Even if you are absorbing the energy of heaven and earth, so what? Your output is far greater. 
there's no way it's balanced. It's like repeatedly throwing a cup of water on a burning cart of firewood. Who are you trying to do? I'll tear off your mask today. Long Chen's sneer rang out as he continued to fight. Jarishan's body was now so tough that he couldn't break it, but his Azure Dragon battle armor was just as tough. Every time they exchanged blows, there was a metallic ringing, and sparks flew like fireworks. Neither of them seated an inch. Everyone could see that Long Chen was the main attacker. Jarishan was only able to occasionally counterattack. There were many times that Long Chen had managed to strike parts of Jarishan's body that would have been fatal in an ordinary person, but Jarishan's body was too tough. When it came to skill in fighting barehanded, Jarishan wasn't on the same level as Long Chen. It was simply that his body had no weak points. Long Chen had tried hitting Jarishan everywhere, but he had not found any weaknesses. He hadn't even managed to injure him. After that, Long Chen landed a kick on Jarishan's abdomen and then smashed his elbow into Jarishan's nose, making him flip back. However, this exchange in particular caused everyone to let out a startled cry. This time, Jarishan's nose had cracked. Long Chen's right. Jarishan has also reached his limit. People were shocked at Long Chen's sharp vision. It was the first time that Jarishan was damaged since he had entered this state. HMPH. You've reached your limit, right? Let's see how you will continue acting arrogant Long Chen continued to attack, once more landing a punch on Jarishan's face. The cracks on his nose had just healed, so Jarishan hastily raised his arms to block. However, Long Chen's punch was a feint. He grabbed Jarishan's arms and smashed his right knee into his face. This attack was solidly received. Jarishan flew back, even more cracks spreading throughout his head as if it might explode. Jarishan's in danger, although that was what someone said, they all saw that Long Chen was sweating and panting, he had to have reached his limit as well, everyone tensed up, this world shaking battle might be reaching its end, the victor and loser would quickly be revealed, even if I have reached my limit, killing you isn't a problem, roared Jarishan, boom, the distraction of shouting resulted in Long Chen landing a kick on his danshan, the place where his spirit root had manifested rumbled, Jarishan was sent flying. However, just at that moment, the scales on Long Chen's foot split apart. Blood dripped down. I've used up too much of the dragon blood's power. I can't maintain the Azure Dragon battle armor much longer. Long Chen's heart shook. His defensive power had just dropped. Without it, fighting with a body of flesh against a body of metal should be difficult. Ha ha ha. I was waiting for this moment. You're just a normal person. Even if you have dragon blood, you're just borrowing its power. Without it, you're still trash. Die. Jarishan laughed, taking the initiative to strike. Chapter 2484 Heaven Suppressing Dragon Coiling Rod Jarishan had taken the initiative to attack this time. Although his aura was also no longer at his towering peak, it was still enough to make others shiver in fear. Even when he was spent, he still gave all the experts here a chill. Even a fangless tiger could still easily slaughter a rabbit. That was the difference between them. I'm just a normal mortal? You make it sound like you're already an immortal. You look like a human, but you don't know how to talk like a regular human, said Long Chen. Even in his weakened state, he continued to fight without hesitation. They repeatedly exchanged blows. Now, every time they clashed, blood would fly out of Long Chen's fists. As for Jarishan, his fists would crack with every clash. Some fragments of his body even fell. Despite both of them being arrows at the end of their flight, their undefeatable wills had not changed. They were both confident that they could beat the other. People sighed. It was no wonder their seniors always said that experts were called experts due to their undefeatable wills, their firm beliefs, and their unyielding spirits. Those were the foundations of an expert. They were invisible normally but during times of adversity, they always appeared. To be able to remain firm even in the face of such a terrifying opponent was the crux of an expert. If the slightest fear appeared, if the slightest panic or messy emotion manifested, it would lead to instant defeat. This kind of will couldn't be taught or inherited. It could only be tempered through countless life and death battles. By beating one frightening opponent after another, this will was gradually trained. Both friend and foe felt profound admiration for Long Chen at this moment. That was because compared to Jarishan, 
their innate situations were incredibly different. Despite that, Long Chen remained confident in himself. That was the confidence built up through his experiences. Climbing from a small secular empire in the eastern wasteland to the peak of the cultivation world. Sovereign sprouts like Jarishan and Feng Fei who were born that way were envied. But when it came to Long Chen, they couldn't be jealous of him. Someone with no backer or talent had reached this level due to risking his life over and over again. Let's see how much longer you can last, roared Jarishan. It should be no problem continuing until the sixth month of next year, said Long Chen lightly. Bullsh tea, pow. This distraction resulted in Long Chen successfully landing a slap on Jarishan's face. With his power having fallen, this slap no longer contained the threat it had possessed in the beginning, but it was still as humiliating as ever. Despicable fellow, you only have this little bit of ability. You only know how to attack while others are off guard. You're practically worse than a beast. Cursed Jarishan. When it comes to spouting bullsh tea, how am I inferior to you at all? Raged Long Chen. Bidang Rushuang, who had been focused with rapt attention, instantly lost her composure and laughed. Even Nangong Zuayu couldn't help smiling. She sighed. How is Long Chen still in the mood to be so glib? Jarishan sinisterly sneered. You're covered in blood, and your power is running out faster than mine. You're definitely dead tonight. All you can do is talk. Just watch as your blood chi runs out bit by bit, bringing you ever closer to death. Are you angry that you can't do anything about it? Do you want to bite me? Feng Fei couldn't help but frown. Jarishan was trying to wage mental warfare on Long Chen, provoking him into making rash decisions. That meant that Jarishan's situation was truly dangerous. Bite you? I don't like eating shit. Don't view others like yourself. Okay, retorted Long Chen. Mo Nian clenched his bow. He was preparing to save Long Chen if it came to it. But Long Chen's sharp words made him prostrate himself toward him in admiration. No wonder this little fellow was liked by so many girls. The skill of his mouth was not inferior to his fists at all. Mo Nian was circulating his divine energy inside of him, ready to fight at any moment. He felt that Jarishan's power was extremely shocking. He was truly worthy of being one of the divine family's sovereign sprouts. It looked as if either one of them could lose at any moment. Life and death could be decided in an instant. You fuck Jarishan's cursing was cut off by another slap in the face. How shameless. Unable to beat someone. You curse them? Is this the style of the divine family's Long Chen suddenly changed his fighting style. His figure flickered and he began to repeatedly slap Jarishan in the face. Jarishan furiously clawed at him, but Long Chen slipped through his attacks easily, while continuing to slap him. Jarishan attacked dozens of times and was slapped dozens of times. Not one slap missed. The most shocking thing was how easily Long Chen dodged. His movements were a wonder to behold, and he didn't repeat the same slap twice. This technique is probably an unprecedented divine technique that can never be replicated. Even if a sovereign is born, they would have to concede defeat in this regard, praised Bidang Rushuang. Although Long Chen was always sloppy and improper, his face slapping divine art had reached a level of perfection. No one could stop it. The world shaking battle had now transformed into a rogue bullying someone. The sudden change was stunning and difficult for them to believe. Who said you could be arrogant pow? Who said you could be domineering pow? Who said you could not wear a hat? Long Chen punctuated his scolding with a slap every time. It didn't matter whether Jarishan tried to dodge, block, or attack. He could not avoid being slapped. Jarishan roared furiously but was unable to catch Long Chen. He felt like he might explode from fury. Your source is going to be burned up by your rage. At this moment, Feng Fei spoke up. Jarishan suddenly calmed down. It was like a bucket of ice water had been poured over his rage. Nangong Zuayu and the others immediately understood that they were at the final stage. Both of them were competing with whatever bit of energy they still had left. In this exhausted state, it was all too easy for stray emotions to affect them. Their movements would grow sluggish, and they would make errors of judgment. Any emotions, rage or fear, joy or sorrow could badly affect someone in an exhausted state. Anger, fear, and sorrow in particular could use up a huge amount of energy without a person being aware. 
Jarishan had been trying to stimulate Long Chen's fear to make him quickly use up his remaining energy. The result though was that he instead had his anger provoked by Long Chen. His little mental tricks had ended up being a reminder to Long Chen, causing him to switch to this different battle style. In his rage, Jarishan had used up a great deal of energy rapidly. If it hadn't been for Feng Fei's quick warning, he would have used up all his energy. Jarishan suddenly retreated, wrapping his arms around his head and coiling up. Long Chen didn't give him a chance to breathe. He chased after him, pummeling him. You talked big, but in the end, you needed a woman to warn you. Has your head become metal as well? No wonder you don't know how to talk like a person, sneered Long Chen. This entire fight, they had been competing with each other. For Feng Fei to have no choice but to speak up could already be considered assistance. If Jarishan had been in an absolutely inferior position, with Feng Fei's pride, she wouldn't have said anything. By calling her just a woman, Long Chen had pulled her into his insult as well. Having experienced Feng Fei's constant arrogance, Long Chen was extremely disdainful of this action of hers. Jarishan's expression changed. For Feng Fei to help him was announcing that he was inferior to Long Chen. Shut up, Jarishan howled. He waved his hand in the air and a bright golden rod appeared in his hand. He smashed it at Long Chen, leaving a silver river to spread in the void wherever it passed. Long Chen's heart shook. The instant that rod appeared, warning bells rang in his head. That was something that could kill him. Hence, he was retreating before Jarishan even swung the rod. However, a river of stars followed this rod when it was swung, leaving Long Chen with nowhere to run. He was sent flying. Even without being struck by the actual rod, Long Chen's scale shattered. Blood dripped down his body, turning him into a blood man. With one attack, he was severely injured. Everyone was shocked. What kind of weapon was this? With his million metal body, what kind of divine item would Jarishan use? A weapon qualified to be used by him definitely had to be a terrifying one. The rod in Jarishan's hand blazed with divine light. The space around it collapsed. Unable to contain it, Long Chen, I am a sovereign sprout, while you are just a mortal man, but you actually forced me to use the heaven-suppressing dragon coiling rod. Do you know how many deaths you deserve? Tell me, how should I kill you? Jarishan glared at Long Chen, his eyes full of killing intent. Long Chen looked at himself. His dragon scales had vanished. He had used up all his dragon blood energy and was now temporarily unable to summon the Azure Dragon battle armor. However, he didn't seem dejected. Instead, he had a faint smile as he looked at Jarishan. You're still such an idiot. This question sounds so laughable that I can't even answer. If I did, it would make me feel like I'm as weak as you. If it wasn't for Feng Fei warning you, you'd be so exhausted right now that you wouldn't even be able to use this rod's power. Yet you still don't feel embarrassed to talk so arrogantly? As expected of a metal face. Do you know what it means to feel shame? Do you know, on a fundamental basis, you've already lost? For you to still be so arrogant, I really don't know where it comes from. If I were you, I'd have long since killed myself out of shame. Me? Lose? What nonsense. No one in this world can beat me. Today, I'll show you this world's strongest divine item. The power of the heaven suppressing dragon coiling rod. Jarishan refused to accept the reality of Long Chen's words. Every one of them was like an arrow piercing his heart. He furiously smashed the heaven suppressing dragon coiling rod down. Long Chen snorted, hesitating between taking out the heaven flipping seal or the demon moon furnace. However, just at that moment, the land beneath the dragon altar exploded. An evil aura burst out like the gates of hell had been opened. A rod that should be used for firewood also dares to be arrogant a sinister, bloodthirsty, and evil voice resounded through the air. Chapter 2485 Flame Prison Traps The Heavens A black saber flew out of the ground. The current evil moon turned this world into a dark abyss. The air of death hung in the atmosphere. Long Chen grabbed evil moon and smiled. You finally came out. I left the best opportunity to you. So it would have been a shame if you didn't make it in time. Ha, huh. if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even be able to fight that firewood. It's finally my time to show off. Kill him. Evil Moon was even more excited than Long Chen. It seemed that it could not wait a second longer. 
the heaven suppressing dragon coiling rod finished accumulating power and smashed down. Long Chen swung Evil Moon. A black crescent moon tore through the laws of space and time. The very world was cut in two and displaced. This was an attack that didn't even seem to come from this world. It was something that passed through the past, present, and future. It was an attack that thirsted to shatter the very stars. Boom. A heaven-shaking explosion blasted through the earth. A mushroom cloud erupted into the sky. The stars shook as if they might fall. This was a clash of two peak divine weapons. The fabric of this world began to fall apart. A wild tempest unfurled. And wind blades cut giant cracks into the void. The experts behind the barrier turned pale as the wind blade smashed into it. The barrier rumbled and cracked. Fortunately, the barrier managed to endure. Looking back at the center of the battlefield, they saw a bloody long chen with the sinister evil moon resting on his shoulder. Despite being soaked in blood with his robes broken down, he continued to exude the air of a peerless hero. In front of him was Jarishan. His arms were gone along with half of his body. He had half his head remaining with only one eye. That one eye was filled with shock and disbelief. He was staring at Long Chen, unable to believe it. It wasn't just him who was shocked. In that instant, the exhausted Long Chen had suddenly unleashed unimaginable power. His aura had instantly skyrocketed. You were grinding down my energy to expose all my trump cards and kill me. But you didn't know that the energy that you were exhausting was just the energy of my dragon blood. I can't summon my dragon battle armor with my dragon blood energy exhausted. But I still have quite a bit of my spiritual yuan. Although it's not as powerful as my dragon blood energy, it's enough to kill you. Long Chen smiled strangely at Jarishan. His body suddenly flickered, and he transformed into a bolt of lightning, hacking Evil Moon down on Jarishan. Jarishan was shocked and finally felt a bit afraid. He felt the threat of death approaching. Jarishan's arms grew back and he formed quick hand seals. As a result, the distant earth exploded, and the heaven-suppressing dragon coiling rod that had been sent flying shot back. Boom. The heaven-suppressing dragon coiling rod was sent flying once more transforming into a streak of light that pierced through the earth, leaving a bottomless hole. Jarishan wanted to retreat, but Long Chen's attack wasn't stopped by his heaven-suppressing dragon coiling rod. Evil Moon continued to strike him and blast his body to bits. Long Chen, I have an undying body. You can't kill me. Jarishan's voice resounded through the air. HMPH, there is no such thing as an undying person in this world especially not someone who likes to court death like you. Long Chen formed new hand seals, and sacred chanting resounded throughout heaven and earth. It was like gods were murmuring. Flame runes condensed into flame chains and pillars that sealed this space. Heaven trapping flame prison. Seal the heavens. Lock the earth. With a final shout, the flame prison condensed. As the sacred chanting continued, the flame runes of the prison flickered. They began to shrink. At this moment, it was possible to see countless tiny metal runes trying to charge out of the spaces between the chains. However, they were blocked by some invisible energy. The heaven-suppressing dragon coiling rod suddenly shot back, but it was sent flying by Evil Moon again. The heaven-trapping flame prison continued to shrink. The metal runes were trapped inside, unable to escape. Jarishan's body was quickly forced to appear. He struck the flame prison repeatedly. But no matter what he did, he could only cause some banging sounds. He was unable to break free. Jarishan was finally afraid. He understood now that as he had been scheming against Long Chen, Long Chen had been scheming against him in turn. He had wanted to exhaust Long Chen so that Long Chen wouldn't have the energy to run. But Long Chen had been thinking the same thing. Under normal circumstances, this flame prison would be unable to trap Jarishan. Now though. His energy had been thoroughly exhausted, and the chains of this prison were unbreakable. He kept calling his divine weapon to save him, but it was always knocked away by Evil Moon. Furthermore, after being slashed multiple times, cuts had appeared in the heaven-suppressing dragon coiling rod. If that continued, it might break. The heaven-suppressing dragon coiling rod was a supreme treasure that was tough and heavy. He had never dreamed that Long Chen would possess a weapon that could suppress it. The flame prison continued to shrink. The pressure inside of it grew as it shrank. And Jarishan was horrified to find that his body was starting to burn. 
What kind of flames are these? Howled Jarishan. These flames were actually capable of igniting immortal metal. Although he claimed to possess an undying body, that was under the condition that his source was not extinguished. If he was out of energy, his core would be exposed, and then he could be killed. Flames that can burn you to death, answered Long Chen lightly. Huo Linger's flame energy had reached a shocking level. Through constantly refining pills, she had also gained control over this new energy. Even Jarishan's million metal body could be burned alive. The prison shrank until it was just 300 meters wide. Jarishan was under terrifying pressure, and he couldn't help screaming in pain. Jarishan has lost, and absolutely completely at that. A sovereign sprout actually lost to Long Chen. It really is unimaginable, sighed someone. When Jarishan was first trapped, they had been waiting to see if he could reverse the tides. However, even after all this time, all that happened was that Jarishan's aura weakened. While the flame prison grew stronger, it seemed that Jarishan no longer possessed the power to turn things around. A sovereign sprout, someone who had the possibility of becoming a sovereign, an unrivaled existence, had been beaten. This result was unbelievable. Long Chen, you can stop. You've won. Feng Fei suddenly spoke up, sighing. She also hadn't expected this result. Stop? Are you joking? Long Chen turned to look at Feng Fei disdainfully. You were the ones acting like all the treasures of this world belonged to you. Did you think about stopping? I was the one who got here first, and I didn't even go for the four divine bones. But this idiot refused to let things be. If the result was the opposite and I was the one who was trapped, would you tell him to stop? If not, then please shut your mouth. Those who want to kill me have to be prepared to be killed by me. Feng Fei coldly said, Long Chen, you had best think this through. You are publicly going against the Divine Families ha ha ha. Long Chen laughed crazily. How funny. The Divine Families are right to kill others. But resistance is called going against the Divine Families? The brains of the Divine Families are truly special. Don't threaten me. I don't know how many threats I've heard. But have I ever lowered my head? I do not seek ascension or comprehending the heavenly deos. All I seek is to live with dignity. All I have is a group of brothers who are just as unafraid of death as I am. We are all determined to fight with our lives at stake if anyone tries to stop us. If you want to save him, then come. Show me whether my life is tougher, or if the life of two sovereign sprouts is tougher. Long Chen was decisive, not leaving the slightest room for negotiation. If Long Chen killed one of the divine family's sovereign sprouts, that would be a huge matter. But it seemed that Long Chen really was capable of doing such a thing. Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang exchanged a look, seeing each other's worry. Long Chen would not listen to their advice. What he had decided on, no one could change. If Long Chen did kill Jarishan, the divine families would pay any price to kill him. You should go advise your brother. Bidang Rushuang nudged Mo Nian. Advise? Are you joking? Jarishan should be killed. As for the consequences, who cares? What would be the point of risking our lives cultivating if we have to shackle ourselves for fear of consequences? The worst case scenario is we die. When we reincarnate, we can continue fighting against the world. Mo Nian shook his head. You, you really are a pair of stubborn mules, said Bidang Rushuang. Why else would we be life and death brothers? Laughed Mo Nian. Mo Nian had barely finished speaking when he suddenly unleashed an arrow containing the power he had been accumulating this entire time. An arrow streaked through the air at Feng Fei because she had also just moved. Chapter 2486 Chaotic Battle An arrow shot out like lightning, reaching Feng Fei at almost the same time it left the string. A huge explosion of divine energy blocked Feng Fei. If you dare to interfere, don't blame me for not caring about your gender. Mo Nian appeared in the sky, staring coldly at Feng Fei. Feng Fei was finally unable to remain seated. She wanted to save Jarishan because she couldn't allow him to die. That meant that Jarishan had truly reached his end. Mo Nian pulled back his bowstring. A giant whirlpool appeared behind him, filled with divine energy. His divine energy fluctuations were even more intense than those of a divine son or divine daughter. In the blink of an eye. Mo Nian entered his peak state. What powerful divine energy. It actually pulled in the heavenly deos. 
Bidang Rushuang was startled. As a fellow Bao expert, she saw that he walked a different path from her, but his power was truly great. Feng Fei coldly snorted. If I want to interfere, you won't be able to stop me. I hope you don't misjudge yourself. What do you mean by misjudge myself? All I know is that if you try to interfere, I'll kill you. Suddenly, a giant figure appeared in the whirlpool behind Mo Nian. It was identical to him and also held a bow. However, this bow was so huge that it exceeded the realms of heaven and earth. There was a single arrow on it, an arrow reflecting the sun, moon, and stars. The world turned calm, as if waiting to be destroyed. Feng Fei's expression changed. She had underestimated Mo Nian. With him having made his move first, he truly possessed the ability to kill her. Not everyone possessed the ability to instantly enter their peak state like Long Chen. Even Feng Fei was incapable of that. Most experts required at least three attacks to warm up before unleashing their peak power. With no warm up, their own body wouldn't be able to endure the sudden leap in power. Feng Fei had been focused on taking the divine bones. Moreover, she hadn't expected Jarishan to lose, and she had especially not thought that he would end up in a state to be killed. She hadn't made any preparations to fight as a result. While Mo Nian was well aware of Long Chen's character and knew that he would try to not just defeat Jarishan, but kill him, the reason Long Chen had been waiting for Mo Nian was to prevent Jarishan from running and also to stop Feng Fei from interfering. Everything was within their calculations. However, Jarishan's power had truly been terrifying. Despite that, Long Chen had still suppressed him. That made Mo Nian feel competitive. If at this time he was unable to block Feng Fei, he wouldn't have the face to see Long Chen again. Everyone's expressions changed and they retreated. Just looking at Mo Nian's arrow made them feel like their souls would dissipate. If this attack was unleashed, it was unknown what kind of consequences it would have. Mo Nian, you dare to act like this to Senior Feng Fei? Don't you think that's too rude? I, Di Feng, am willing to accompany you instead. Di Feng suddenly smiled. His manifestation burst into existence and a blood-colored figure appeared within it, unleashing boundless emperor might. This is the blood emperor's aura. Did he not die? This time, Mo Nian's expression changed. He had inherited some memories of his ancestors and was familiar with this aura. Mo Nian, you traitor of the ancient family alliance. I'll settle our enmities today. Di Feng's figure vanished. Following that, a wave of blood-colored chi erupted. From within this blood-colored wave came a giant hand that smashed toward Mo Nian. In that instant, a spiritual and bloodline suppression crashed down, making everyone feel like they were being crushed. It felt like they were being pressured to kneel. What's going on? This emperor might is 100% authentic. Did the blood emperor borrow Di Feng's body to resurrect? Nangong Zuayu and the other's expressions changed. This emperor might made them feel pressure both physically and spiritually. In this state, it was impossible for them to fight properly. Just what had happened to Di Feng? It was no wonder that Di Feng had dared to challenge Mo Nian. He had come prepared. Mo Nian's fury soared. The palm crashing toward him gave him no choice but to counterattack. You're asking for it, roared Mo Nian. He knew that as soon as he turned his attention to Di Feng, he would be unable to stop Feng Fei. Boom. Mo Nian unleashed the arrow on the heaven-swallowing sun-hunting bow, while the giant arrow in his manifestation followed, piercing into the hand. The hand and arrows exploded at the same time. After that, a muffled bang came from within the sea of blood. It seemed that Di Feng had been injured. The blood sea shuddered, and blood swords shot out of it at Mo Nian. Sorry Long Chen, there's been a surprise. Once I kill him, I'll come help you out. Mo Nian was unable to ignore these blood swords. He actually charged into the blood sea, and explosions began to echo from within. The two of them began an intense fight, but it was impossible to see them within the blood sea. Feng Fei instantly escaped Mo Nian's lock and appeared in front of Long Chen. Release Jarishan, or don't blame me for being merciless why are you wasting time talking? Get me out of here, roared Jarishan from within. His voice was hoarse and panicked because Long Chen's flames were burning away his metal source. Seeing that Feng Fei wasn't directly attacking, he grew even more panicked. His resentment spread from just Long Chen to Feng Fei. Release him? 
Impossible. Since he wants to kill me, he has to be prepared to be killed by me. Of course, you can attack me and try to save him. I'll wait for you to attack me. That way I'll have a reason to kill you as well, said Long Chen, tightening his hold on Evil Moon. Killing intent blazed in his eyes. He didn't like Feng Fei. He might even hate her. He hated how arrogant she acted, as if all the world's people had to obey her. It was like in the eyes of the divine families. The experts of the martial heaven continent were an inferior species that should crawl beneath their feet. If they rebelled, it would be a defiance of what was simply right, and they deserved the death penalty. However, he had yet to have a true clash with Feng Fei. At this time though, if Feng Fei tried to stop him, there would be nothing to discuss. He would kill her. You're too arrogant. Since you refuse to do things nicely, don't blame me for bullying the weak. Feng Fei also grew angry. She crossed her hands, and a phoenix cry rang out. A multicolored phoenix condensed in the air and shot at Long Chen. In their last spiritual strength competition, the two of them had both been injured. So this time Feng Fei was prepared. Her life soul beast was completely different from before. Soul energy shook the sky. It was unknown just how many times stronger it was from last time. Feng Fei's soul energy had vastly strengthened after reaching the fourth step of Nether Passage. Furthermore, she also had her own pride and didn't want to take advantage of him. She competed with him in spiritual strength, one of his greatest strengths. Long Chen raised his left hand. Spiritual strength condensed into a giant shield just like in their last competition. However, this time, Long Chen's spiritual strength was like a vast sea shining brightly. Waves crashed against the shield. When their two spiritual strengths crashed together, a ripple spread through the air that made every expert feel a sharp pain. Even as they circulated their own spiritual strength to resist, they cried out. It felt like millions of needles were stabbing around in their heads, making them feel enough pain to not want to live. When they recovered enough, they looked back up to see that Feng Fei's phoenix was biting at the shield. The shield was being torn through and broken, but it was constantly repairing itself. Hurry up and kill him. I can't last much longer, roared Jarishan. His aura was dropping rapidly. His body had been chaired like firewood. It no longer had any luster. He had reached his limit. Any longer and he would be burned to death. Your flame prison isn't controlled by your soul. Feng Fei suddenly realized that Long Chen's heaven trapping flame prison wasn't being supported by him. Otherwise, this shield he had summoned should have caused it to crumble, allowing Jarishan to escape. Feng Fei was unaware that it was Huo Linger controlling it. Even without Long Chen's soul energy, it was very stable, enough to stop the weakened Jarishan. Quick, roared Jarishan. After that, no more sounds came from within. A sword suddenly appeared in Feng Fei's hand. It was unknown what material it was made of, but its body was the color of blood. After that, her manifestation shone behind her, and an ancient beast appeared. A fierce aura burst out of her. She slashed her sword at Long Chen. Jarishan was going to die, so she finally unleashed her full power, combining her spiritual attacks with physical attacks. Blood-colored light erupted in the sky. Boom. Long Chen swung Evil Moon. The instant their weapons met, Long Chen's body trembled and he coughed up a mouthful of blood. With only a small portion of his spiritual Yuan left, he was unable to stop Feng Fei at her full power. Suddenly, the land began to shake. The ground that had been crushed and compacted began to swell back up. The Dragon Altar began to unleash Dragon Might, and the experts hiding on top of it were kicked out. What's going on? Bang! The barrier of the altar exploded, and a wave of dragon might unfurled, sending the closest experts flying like meteors. The divine bones, startled cries rang out. With the barrier's destruction, the divine bones were exposed. Long Chen looked at Jarishan to the divine bones, clenching his teeth. He gave up on Jarishan and rushed toward the closest divine bone. Feng Fei's expression changed. Chapter 2487 Taking the Divine Bones The Divine Bones have appeared. Everyone was delighted and tried to take the Divine Bones. However, the explosion of the barrier was still unleashing waves of power. Some people even coughed up blood from trying to charge through those waves. Only Long Chen was able to pierce through that wave to grab one of the Divine Bones. 
Feng Fei's gaze turned cold. Long Chen's power wasn't enough to fight her currently, so he had given up on Jarishan. The divine bones belong to the divine family shouted Feng Fei. Are they yours just because you say so? Then I say that the entire universe is mine, sneered Long Chen, ignoring her. Feng Fei panicked. She swung her sword at the flame prison, only for it to twist slightly. She didn't manage to break it, and the flames continued to burn intensely. Inside the flame prison, Jarishan had no more power to speak. It was unknown if he was even alive, so Feng Fei's panic grew. Long Chen was truly sinister. This flame prison was both tough and flexible. Breaking it would take quite a bit of time. If she wanted to instantly break it, she would have to kill Long Chen. But Long Chen was refusing to fight directly against her and went for the divine bones instead. If she tried to kill Long Chen, he would dodge her. Even in his weakened state, he wasn't someone she could kill quickly. At that time, Jarishan would definitely be dead. Feng Fei couldn't just watch as he was killed. So she needed to destroy the heaven trapping flame prison. But then the divine bones would fall into Long Chen's hands. No matter what she did, Long Chen would be the winner. This damn Jarishan. Feng Fei wished Jarishan had died earlier. If he had just listened to her and not been so arrogant, Long Chen wouldn't necessarily have become enemies with them over the divine bones. Bang. One explosion came from Feng Fei striking the heaven trapping flame prison. Another explosion came from the divine bones. Long Chen had just been about to touch the first divine bone when a foot thick barrier of light forced his hand back. There's another layer of defense. Long Chen was startled. Not good. I used up too much of my dragon blood energy. I can't obtain the barrier's approval. This barrier was set up by the Dragon King. If Long Chen could use the dragon blood energy from the Dragon King, he would be able to take the dragon bones directly. However, his dragon blood energy had been used up in his fight against Jarishan. This barrier no longer recognized him. Seeing that Long Chen was forced back, Feng Fei calmed down. She repeatedly attacked the flame prison, every one of her blows causing the world to tremble. As people were shocked at Feng Fei's power, they were also shocked at the flame prison's power. What kind of magical art could repeatedly block a sovereign sprout's attacks? They were unaware that the flame prison was being supported by the Nirvana scripture, meaning that this entire world's flame energy was supporting it. Feng Fei was currently trying to break the entire world's flame energy. This was also why someone like Jarishan could be trapped inside. Only those personally experiencing this attack would know just how powerful it was. Feng Fei was truly powerful. With each of her attacks, she exhausted a portion of the flame energy. It was unknown what kind of power she was using. Big Brother Long Chen. She's too powerful. This world doesn't have enough flame energy. So I can't stop her much longer. Transmitted Huo Linger. It's fine. Don't force yourself. Once this world's flame energy is exhausted, release him. Don't harm your source, replied Long Chen. Huo Linger was at too much of a disadvantage facing Feng Fei alone. After all, the enemy was a sovereign sprout. Long Chen didn't want Huo Linger to risk herself. The other experts were also trying to take the divine bones, but they were unable to charge through the waves of power as quickly as him. They were doing their best to get closer. That's right. Long Chen suddenly took out the bone tile. Using it. This was the bone tile that had absorbed the Dragon King's essence bloodstone. As a result, the light barrier around the divine bone grew gentle. And it didn't force Long Chen back. Long Chen finally managed to grab the divine bone. Without a second glance, Long Chen tossed it into the primal chaos space and shot toward the second divine bone. What? Long Chen already obtained a divine bone. The barrier's power is weakening the other expert's eyes reddened. Those divine bones could be considered a step toward becoming a god or immortal. Furthermore, after taking one, the barrier's power had weakened considerably. They crazily charged forward, but while they were still several hundred meters away, they were unable to get any closer. That made them roar helplessly. The difference in power was too great, despite the divine bones being right in front of them. They didn't have the power to take them. That feeling of powerlessness made them feel like weeping. Boom. Flames exploded. Feng Fei finally shattered the heaven-trapping flame prison. And Jarishan's black body appeared. 
Fung Fei suddenly slammed her foot on his body, causing him to explode. Everyone jumped. After putting in all that work to save him, her only goal had been to personally kill him? Had this world gone crazy? Just at this moment, Long Chen managed to grab the second divine bone and shot off toward the third one. The barrier's power weakened once more, but most of the experts had given up their desire to fight for the divine bones. It was because Feng Fei was now charging over furiously. Whether or not they could grab one of the divine bones, they wouldn't have a chance to enjoy it anyway. Feng Fei hesitated between the third and fourth divine bones. Instead of going directly at Long Chen, she charged toward the fourth one. She would get one first before anything else. If she chased after Long Chen and he managed to take the third and fourth divine bones, she would gain nothing on the off chance that she was unable to kill him. This divine bone is mine. Just at that moment, a white robed figure charged over, fighting against Feng Fei over the fourth divine bone noveloon.com. Everyone was shocked. Just who would dare to fight Feng Fei over the divine bone? When they saw who it was, a startled cry rang out from everyone. The pill fairy. It was the pill fairy Yu Kingsuan. No one had seen her before, so she had to have just arrived. The dragon nest's interior was like a maze. It wasn't necessarily the strongest bunch that would arrive here first. As for why Feng Fei and Jarishan were able to reach this place so quickly, it was because they had a map. The pill fairy's arrival made Feng Fei coldly shout, The divine bones here belong to the divine families. It has nothing to do with you. So scram. Feng Fei was truly angry now. Jarishan had lost to Long Chen, and Long Chen had taken two divine bones. Moreover, she wasn't confident in being able to force them out of him. Now all she wanted was one divine bone, but someone else actually dared to interfere. All things in this world were created by the gods, so they belong to the gods. As a divine daughter, they are mine, retorted the pill fairy icily. The pill fairy was blazing with divine light. Her very voice caused heaven and earth to echo her, as if responding to her. Long Chen's heart shook. After not seeing her for so long, the pill fairy's divine energy had grown even more powerful. Her spiritual fluctuations had also transformed. A sharp pain racked his heart. The original pill fairy was already dead, or perhaps it should be said that she had been taken over by this divine energy. There wasn't a single part of her left. As the pain racked his heart, Flames of fury rose inside of him toward Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Knight. They had actually turned the kind pill fairy into a puppet. Long Chen grabbed the third divine bone. After obtaining three, he didn't go over to the fourth one, nor did he go help Mo Nian. Instead, he just stood there, summoning his divine ring to help him recover. He watched the fight between Feng Fei and the pill fairy. You lowly wench, you're courting death. Feng Fei furiously swung her sword at the pill fairy. Blaspheming a divine daughter is disrespect to the gods. You're the one courting death. The pill fairy snorted and waved her hand. Pill Valley's divine item, the day night furnace, appeared in the air. Boom. Feng Fei's sword slashed into the day night furnace, sending it flying. Space collapsed, and it was possible to see a black space appear devouring everything inside of it. Everyone hastily retreated from it. Afraid of being sucked into the chaotic flow of space, Feng Fei's expression changed as she was also knocked back by the day night furnace. She shouted, Assimilating with divine energy is still a form of external power. It will never reach the peak. Feng Fei held her sword with both hands, and a ray of light shot out of her forehead, illuminating it. Her manifestation grew, and the fierce beast unleashed an ancient aura. Feng Fei's aura completely transformed. After that, she slashed her sword, unleashing a harsh streak of sword light. Power is power. There is no external or internal power as long as you can control it. As for reaching the peak, it doesn't matter. All that matters is being able to kill enemies. Those are the edicts of the gods. The pill fairy formed hand seals. Her voice emotionless. The day night furnace flew back, and divine flames wrapped around the pill fairy's body. This was a flame that could burn all things. The day-night furnace grew brighter and brighter. Under her control, it began to revolve. Bang! Feng Fei's sword landed on the day-night furnace, unleashing a blinding explosion of light. As a result, both of them retreated and coughed up a mouthful of blood. In this full power exchange, 
both sides were injured. Everyone was shocked that the pill fairy could injure Feng Fei. When had the pill fairy grown so powerful? Just at this moment, perhaps due to not being able to endure the impact of their attacks, the final barrier around the divine bone below them shattered, and it flew into the air. Chapter 2488 Feng Fei lowers her head? Feng Fei and the pill fairy charged toward the divine bone. Feng Fei slashed her sword at the pill fairy, wanting to stop her while she grabbed it. However, the pill fairy snorted and suddenly sent the Danite furnace hurtling toward Feng Fei, completely ignoring her attack. If either was struck by the other's attack, a fairy would die. How vicious. The other experts quivered. Jarishan and Long Chen's battle had been extremely intense. But this battle between Feng Fei and the Pill Fairy seemed to be reaching its conclusion in just a few moves. Both sides were facing death in an instant. Feng Fei was shocked and infuriated that the Pill Fairy would use such a shameless move. How could she be willing to die here? But if she switched to blocking the Danite Furnace, she would lose her initiative, and the Pill Fairy might instantly take the Divine Bone. The Pill Fairy's expression was icy. It seemed that she didn't even care about her life yet was also confident that Feng Fei wouldn't dare to die with her. She reached out for the divine bone. Since you want to die so badly, I'll make sure you die. Feng Fei slashed her sword at the Danite furnace. The flying beast within her manifestation also reached out, slashing a claw at the pill fairy. Both her attacks were incredibly sharp, especially the claw. When a shadow is over the inner heart, it is impossible to be bright. A leaf over the eye blocks the mountain from sight. There are countless possibilities with the soul. As some wish to save all life. Why do some have eyes but not see? Ears but not hear? A heart but not feel? A soul that is untouched? There is no choice but for them to face redemption. Or they will fall into oblivion as the pill fairy chanted. A figure appeared within her manifestation. Divine light erupted out of this figure. Pouring out like a sea. Lord Brahma. Long Chen's gaze turned icy. For some reason, he had an urge to tear this figure apart. He felt a deep hatred deep within his soul. The Lord Brahma within the Pill Fairy's manifestation reached out toward the claw of Feng Fei's manifestation. Boom. Feng Fei's manifestation exploded. The power of her manifestation was actually inferior. With that, the Pill Fairy beckoned, and the Divine Bone actually flew straight toward her, shocking everyone. Those divine bones had their own wills, for it to fly over of its own accord. Could it be that the pill fairy had obtained its approval? Earth, water, fire, wind. Could it be, someone suddenly let out a startled cry. If the pill fairy had obtained one of the divine bones approval, then it had to be the fire attribute divine bone. The divine bone illuminated the pill fairy, giving her already sacred appearance an extra layer of beauty. Hand over the divine bone shouted Feng Fei, killing intent raging in her eyes. The divine bones were very important to her. However, there was something even more important than the divine bones, which was that she had actually lost in that exchange. The pill fairy waved her hand, and the Danite furnace appeared in front of her. She stepped onto it gracefully, looking at Feng Fei. She indifferently said, in the starfield divine world, your manifestations are unable to release their full power but my divine might is unaffected. You aren't a match for me in this world. If you want to keep embarrassing yourself, I won't stop you. But if you anger me, I might not care about the ancient immortal treaty and kill you. Feng Fei's pupils shrank. It seemed that this ancient immortal treaty made her think of something. She looked at the pill fairy in shock. Could it be? Have you already? That has nothing to do with you. As the daughter of the god, I naturally have to spread their splendor. Anyone who dares to stop me must be killed, said the pill fairy coldly. The pill fairy's icy arrogance actually managed to suppress Feng Fei. She was even more domineering than Feng Fei. People's hearts shook. There was clearly some kind of secret hidden within their words. The pill fairy said that Feng Fei was unable to use her full power in the starfield divine world. Did that mean that the same was true of Jarishan? They were already so powerful even without using their full power. Would there be anyone capable of stopping them once they unleashed their full power? Boom. Just as everyone was stunned, the earth exploded. A figure charged out. Jarishan. Startled cries rang out. It was the Jarishan that Feng Fei had just killed. He was alive again. Long Chen. 
hand over your life. Jia Rishan immediately charged at Long Chen. When Feng Fei had crushed Jia Rishan with a kick, she had helped sprinkle him across the ground. By absorbing the energy of the ground, he had quickly recovered. Although his core energy was metal energy, it was the earth that birthed it. Within the ground, Jarishan was able to absorb energy much more efficiently. He had just recovered a bit of his power and charged out to kill Long Chen. He was unable to accept this reality. Long Chen had beaten him, and if it wasn't for Feng Fei, he would already be dead. Die. Jarishan smashed the heaven suppressing dragon coiling rod at Long Chen. He hadn't fully recovered. But he knew that Long Chen had to be in a worse state than him as Long Chen had exchanged blows with Feng Fei in his injured state. Now was the best moment to kill him. If someone didn't save you, you would have been turned to ash. But you still dare to talk so arrogantly. Long Chen sneered and swung Evil Moon. Boom. Jarishan had flown at Long Chen quickly. And now he flew back even faster. Cracks covered his entire body. He was almost shattered. How? How did you recover so quickly? Jarishan alternated between shock and rage. Long Chen, hand over the three divine bones and I won't make things hard on you. Before Long Chen could even reply, the pill fairy had opened her mouth, directly demanding all three divine bones. Long Chen looked at the pill fairy, sighing, you are no longer the old pill fairy. What is hard about it? It's difficult to make me spit out things that have landed in my hands. But if you want to try it, then come. Long Chen knew that right now, he wasn't facing the pill fairy but a puppet made from a god's divine energy. If he still had the slightest emotions toward the pill fairy, there would be no saving him from his foolishness. To follow me is to be blessed in my divine light, reach the pinnacle of joy, and escape the sea of bitterness. To defy me is to fall into hell. The lack of faith in me, the foolishness of those who refuse my guidance, results in a world full of sin. Those sinners must be executed for the greater good. The pill fairy began to chant once more, her face expressionless. Her manifestation grew brighter, and divine energy continued to pour into this world. It was like a god had descended upon this world. In front of her, people felt incredibly minuscule. What terrifying divine energy. Yu Kingsuin has already finished receiving the god's guidance and become a manifestation of the god. Through chanting the god's scripture, she is obtaining unending divine energy. The more devout she is, the more divine energy she obtains. Nangong Zuayu's expression changed. The current pill fairy could be considered to be possessed by a god. This divine energy was bestowed upon her based on her faith energy. The more devout her faith energy was, the more divine energy she would be blessed with, let alone the current Long Chen. Even Long Chen at his peak might not be a match for her. Even Feng Fei was only able to draw with the pill fairy, and that was before she unleashed her divine energy. After her divine energy was unleashed, Feng Fei had given up. Within the star field divine world, she was unable to beat the pill fairy. Ha ha ha, Long Chen suddenly laughed, his laugh full of contempt. Who does Lord Brahma think he is? What a joke. Listening to him can allow someone to escape the sea of bitterness while not listening to him will result in someone falling to hell? Is that really a god? Doesn't that sound more like a monstrous devil? Lord Brahma and fallen Danite say some big words. When I first entered Pill Valley, I already pissed on their heads. If they really were gods, then I wouldn't be alive right now. As Long Chen laughed, everyone stared in dumbfounded silence. Lord Brahma and fallen Danite were publicly acknowledged as true gods. Did Long Chen really piss on their divine statues? That was too crazy. Those familiar with him knew that he wouldn't lie about such a thing. With his fearless character, it seemed that he really was capable of doing such a thing. Blasphemers of the gods cannot be forgiven for their sins. Only your blood can atone for your sins. The pill fairy formed hand seals, and a giant palm crashed down upon Long Chen. Retreat. You haven't even recovered half of your power. If you face this divine energy directly, you'll die, warned Evil Moon. No, I could retreat in front of anyone else but not her. I see killing intent filled Long Chen's eyes. Rather than retreating, he directly charged at the palm crashing toward him. You idiot, raged Evil Moon, unable to understand why Long Chen would become so stupid. He had used up the energy of his dragon blood and barely recovered a bit of his spiritual yuan. 
yet he still was fighting against the pill fairy. Was this not courting death? Evil Moon's two dragon marks lit up. Black runes appeared and a sinister aura erupted. Evil Moon had no choice but to unleash all of its power, or Long Chen would die. Boom. The giant hand shattered, but Long Chen coughed up three mouthfuls of blood. Lines of blood covered his body as if he was about to break apart. In his current state, it was too much for him to receive the pill fairy's attacks. Idiot. If I didn't go all out helping you, you would have died. Cursed Evil Moon. The pill fairy didn't give Long Chen a chance to rest. Clapping her hands together, another hand reached out of her manifestation. This time grabbing the Danite furnace and sending it smashing toward Long Chen. Dodge. Without your own energy, I can't unleash my power. Roared Evil Moon. Boom. Just at this moment, the dragon altar exploded and the dragon king's corpse was blasted apart. After that, the earth collapsed, and a black torrent suddenly shot out. The Danite furnace along with the pill fairy were sent flying by the black torrent. What is going on? Everyone stared in shock at the black flood, a bad feeling rising in their hearts. Chapter 2489 Snow White Robes The black flood came out of nowhere and was like an evil spear piercing out of the altar. Even the Dragon King's corpse was unable to block it. An aura of rot and death filled the air. Just looking at the Black Flood made people feel a sharp pang in their souls. This aura, why is it so familiar? It, it's the aura of the Heaven Devouring Black Armor Cores. Was this altar suppressing the hive of the Black Armor Cores? Everyone's expressions changed. The loss of the four Divine Bones had weakened the altar to the point that it could no longer seal the Black Armor Cores. All of a sudden, a figure charged out of the Black Flood. It was the Corrupt Path's mysterious expert, Yi Ming. Startled cries rang out when people saw him. What was he doing inside of the Black Flood? Was he related to it? Just as everyone was filled with suspicions, they also noticed that Yi Ming was covered in blood. He had many cuts all over him. A ray of sword light flashed over, wanting to block it. Yi Ming roared and unleashed a ray of divine light but it was shattered by the attack. The sword light then pierced his shoulder, flying through with a bloody dart. Staring in shock, people wondered just who was so powerful that they could injure Yi Ming. From within the Black Flood came another figure. He wore white robes untouched by dust. Although everyone could see his shoulder-length hair, the strange thing was that they couldn't see his face. This white-robed man's face was unclear, but his body still gave off a feeling of nobility and grace. This nobility was not one of aloof arrogance, but one that made others feel as if he was worthy of following, a nobility that inspired reverence. That's the aura of a sovereign a startled cry rang out. This air was something only a sovereign should possess. So who was this person? Was it another sovereign sprout? But even Feng Fei and Jarishan lacked this kind of air. Although they were powerful, they didn't possess this nobility. Who are you? roared Yi Ming directly voicing everyone's suspicions. Was this person from the Starfield Divine World? The white-robed man didn't reply. Instead, he turned toward the distant Long Chen. It seems you obtained the Dragon King's essence blood. I was one step too late. Even a sovereign can miscalculate, said the white-robed man. His voice was simple and gentle, like a spring breeze. But there also seemed to be a sighing tone. The Dragon King's essence blood, as everyone was shocked. Jarishan roared. No wonder you had such power. You were using the Dragon King's power. When it runs out next time, I can kill you like killing a chicken. It seemed that Jarishan had finally found an excuse to placate his heart. If Long Chen had used external power to beat him, then his defeat didn't count. Long Chen ignored him and looked at the white robed man. Are you the one who the Dragon King Senior was waiting for? You are. Long Chen shut his mouth. He seemed to know who this white-robed man was. It was no wonder his aura felt familiar. The white-robed man nodded. It was supposed to be left for me, but I was delayed when I saw Yi Ming secretly undoing the seal of the heaven-devouring fiend king. I was trying to kill him before he could, but I failed. The heaven-devouring fiend king seal has been released, and the dragon king's energy has run out. The rest of the black armor cores down below are affected by the fiend king's release and are quickly reviving. What everyone was horrified. The fallen black armor cores could come back to life? Wouldn't they be enough to destroy this entire world? Yi Ming, why would you do this? Demanded people. 
because through his special energy, he can control the revived Black Armor cores. That's the reason I made killing him my priority, said the white-robed man. Everyone, including Long Chen, was appalled. If Yi Mian could control this Black Armor cores, then ignoring anything else, at least everyone from the Righteous Path would be annihilated. Brother, my apologies. I told the Dragon King Senior that he had the wrong person, but he still gave me the Dragon King Essence Bloodstone. Now, only half of its Essence Blood remains. If it's still useful to you, please take it. Long Chen took out the Dragon King Essence Bloodstone, sensing the vast Essence Blood fluctuations coming from it. Countless people grew greedy for it. Long Chen, are you afraid now? You want to trade a treasure for your life? I never thought that the Grand Long Chen was such a coward. Suddenly, Di Feng's voice rang out. He actually escaped Mo Nian's interference and flew over. Damn brat, come over and fight, roared Mo Nian, shooting an arrow at Di Feng. Di Feng's figure instantly became illusory, and the arrow passed through his body, not doing any substantial damage. Mo Nian's battle with Di Feng had been frustrating to say the least. Di Feng had no intention of beating Mo Nian. He only wanted to use his Blood Sea domain to stall Mo Nian. Within his Blood Sea, he easily dodged Mo Nian's attacks. This Blood Sea contained the power of an emperor, so Di Feng was able to freely go between reality and illusory. Mo Nian had yet to find a way to counter this technique, resulting in him being unable to unleash any of his power. Di Feng couldn't help being disappointed that Long Chen hadn't been killed, and so he chose this moment to shout at him. The white-robed man turned to look at Di Feng. He shook his head. A possession by an emperor's heroic spirit? To hide the real body within the river of time to avoid attacks is an insignificant path. Big words. Who do you think you are to be so arrogant in front of me? Sneered Di Feng. A ray of sword chi shot out. The strange thing was that the sword chi clearly appeared first, and only after that did the white-robed man swing his sword. Furthermore, most frightening of all, the sword chi had yet to touch Di Feng when Di Feng's body was pierced. What Mo Nian was dumbfounded. This sword attack was too bizarre. No one understood what had happened. It was like this sword had passed through the restrictions of time to harm Di Feng. Such a heretical path is useless in the end. It's not even your own power, and it will never cover up your fatal flaws. If there was no karma between us, you would have died to me, Yun Mao's sword said the white-robed man indifferently. Di Feng looked down at the wound on his chest that was not healing, his face pale. If that attack had landed on his head, perhaps he would be a corpse now. Just who was this white-robed man to turn his newfound power ineffective? Yun Mao. 1. Long Chen's heart pounded. As expected, he was definitely Yun Shang's descendant. Their surnames were the same. Long Chen sent the essence blood stone flying toward him. My apologies. This should have been yours, but I took half. Long Chen had received great favor from Yun Shang. Evil Moon was the gift that Yun Shang had left for him, and it had been a loyal companion that had saved his life countless times. For Long Chen to have taken something that Yun Shang had left for his descendant definitely had the taste of biting the hand that fed you. The white robed man received the essence blood stone. When he looked up, this time Long Chen's heart trembled. He vaguely saw a pair of familiar eyes. They were far too similar. Could he be? No. He's not Yun Shang. His bloodline fluctuations are very similar, but his spiritual fluctuations are completely different. Furthermore, Yun Shang already became a sovereign and was branded into the heavenly deos. There is no way an identical sovereign can be born in one world. A sovereign cannot reincarnate. So he is not Yun Shang, said Evil Moon firmly. Having exchanged blows with Yun Shang, having been suppressed by Yun Shang's seal for all these years, Evil Moon was profoundly aware of his aura, so it was sure that this person was not Yun Shang. Many thanks. The white robed man cupped his fists, as expected of the person that sovereign Yun Shang favors. You are even willing to give away such a priceless treasure. I've decided that you are definitely worth befriending. Long Chen was unable to remain calm. This feeling of being basked in sunlight, this feeling of having the heart warmed, his tone, his eyes, they were all far too similar to Yun Shang. Long Chen nodded. Sovereign Yun Shang blessed me with his favor, and I was never able to repay him. 
If you are the one to continue the sovereign's legacy, I am willing to help you. These words shocked everyone. Was Long Chen saying he was willing to help someone else become the number one expert of this world? This was startling, as Long Chen had never submitted to anyone else before. They then looked at the white-robed man, as well as thought about how they kept talking about Sovereign Yun Shang. A wild possibility appeared in their minds and it dumbfounded them. It's impossible. The five sovereigns were all solitary figures without partners, let alone descendants. Everyone began to suspect his identity, but it was impossible for him to be a sovereign's descendant. Unless was he a sovereign's disciple? The white-robed man smiled. Although his face was unclear, it still gave off a refreshing feeling. Sovereign Yan Chang's will has long since been entrusted to the land of the Martial Heaven continent. There are no sovereign sprouts in this world. Or perhaps I should say that everyone is a sovereign sprout. Man or woman. Human or not. Righteous or corrupt. Good or evil. Every person has the possibility of becoming a sovereign. The most basic requirement for becoming a sovereign is to understand what it means to sacrifice oneself. Long Chen. Amongst all the geniuses, you are the one that possesses the greatest chance of continuing the legacy of the sovereigns. You are the one with the greatest possibility of becoming a sovereign, said the white-robed man profoundly. These words made Di Feng, Jarishan, Feng Fei, and Yi Ming's expressions change. They thought of a frightening possibility. Become a sovereign? He might not even be living past today. Yi Ming suddenly took the initiative in attacking the white-robed man with his jagged sword. Following Yi Ming's lead, Jarishan, Feng Fei, and Di Feng also attacked but their target was Long Chen. 1. The Mo here is a stand-in for so and so. He is saying his name is Yun something. Chapter 2490 The ghost ship reappears Black Chi flowed around Yi Ming and began to mix with the Black Flood. It seemed that he was borrowing its power to attack the white-robed man. Leave this fellow to me. You should know what to do. Shouted Yi Ming. Boom. The white-robed man swung his sword. Yi Ming was instantly sent flying. But after retreating into the Black Torrent, he flew back out and attacked once more. At the same time, Feng Fei, Jarishan, and Di Feng seemed to agree with Yi Ming and went straight toward Long Chen. Long Chen, your death is at hand, sneered Di Feng. Three powerful experts were attacking Long Chen simultaneously, instantly putting him in an inferior position. Even fleeing would be difficult. Suddenly, an arrow pierced through the air, facing the arrow. Di Feng snorted and his body became illusory. As a result, the arrow passed through his body without causing any damage. The only one capable of injuring him was the white-robed man. Mo Nian, your attacks are useless against me. Once I kill Long Chen, I'll come for you, sneered Di Feng, ignoring Mo Nian and attacking Long Chen. Mo Nian, you kill that Rishan idiot. Leave this fellow to me, shouted Long Chen. He swung Evil Moon at Di Feng. Big words, sneered Di Feng. His body quickly became illusory. Evil Moon passed straight through his body just like Mo Nian's arrows. Your attacks are nothing more than. Di Feng laughed, his body becoming solid once more. Just at that moment, Long Chen twisted Evil Moon. Its dragon marks lit up, and it cut Di Feng in two. What Di Feng's sneer vanished, replaced with shock that was echoed by the other experts. Long Chen was actually able to counter his bizarre technique. Evil Moon stabbed forward, this time aiming for Di Feng's head. However, Feng Fei's sword appeared in front of it, and with a swing, she sent Long Chen flying. His hand almost broke. Long Chen, if you surrender now, I can spare your life, said Feng Fei. A person who can make me surrender has yet to be born in this world. Whatever abilities you have, go ahead and bring them out snorted Long Chen. Our target is him, but if you want to die so badly, fine. A cold light flickered in Feng Fei's eyes. In her eyes, Long Chen was ignoring her kindness. Boom. Jarishan was blown up by Mo Nian's arrow. Mo Nian might not be able to do anything to defend strange emperor technique, but he had plenty of room to play when it came to Jarishan. After all, Jarishan was in a weakened state. Feng Fei, hurry up and kill Long Chen. Why are you wasting words? shouted Jarishan. His body quickly reformed. Yi Ming and the white-robed man were still fighting, but Yi Ming was clearly at an immense disadvantage. 
In just a few exchanges, he was coughing up blood, but he persevered in order to tie the white-robed man down. Mo Nian had suppressed Jarishan, but with his undying body, Mo Nian was unable to kill him quickly. Every time Mo Nian wanted to go help Long Chen, Jarishan summoned his manifestation and blocked him. With Feng Fei and Di Feng attacking Long Chen at the same time, he was in immense danger. Even a single Feng Fei wasn't someone he could handle in his current state, let alone adding in another opponent who had gained the Blood Emperor's inheritance. Feng Fei stopped trying to convince Long Chen after his refusal. She repeatedly attacked, her blood sword unleashing waves of power. Long Chen snorted and swung Evil Moon behind him, perfectly blocking Di Feng's sneak attack. He then gripped Evil Moon with both hands, preparing to unleash his full power to receive Feng Fei's attack. Killing intent raged within him. He no longer cared about Feng Fei's existence. All he had was a belief in killing his opponent, even if he was no longer at his peak. As long as he could grasp the slightest chance, he could still kill her. Even a weaker person could kill a stronger opponent with just one chance. Boom. Suddenly, divine light flew over knocking Feng Fei back. Her expression changed. Yu Kingsuan, what are you doing? The divine light had come from the pill fairy and had been aimed for Feng Fei's vitals. The pill fairy ignored Feng Fei. She turned to Long Chen. Hand over the three divine bones and I will not participate in this battle. Everyone was startled. If the pill fairy joined in, Long Chen really would be dead. In his weakened state, how was he supposed to face such powerful opponents? Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang exchanged a glance. They both nodded. Now was the time for them to join in. Ha ha ha. Long Chen suddenly laughed. His voice was icy. If you want to attack, then come. Let's see who is capable of taking my life. Long Chen was the most infuriated by the pill fairy. If others attacked him, he wouldn't feel such rage. Only the pill fairy could cause him to feel such anger. Despite knowing that the pill fairy was now Lord Brahma's puppet, he was unable to accept her icy and emotionless treatment. A flame lotus rapidly condensed in his hand, and sacred chanting filled the air. Flame energy surged toward Long Chen. So you've obtained the third volume of the Nirvana scripture, but I won't let you release this technique. The pill fairy shook her head. She summoned the Danite furnace, but before she could attack, rumbling rang out. From the other side of the Black Flood came a giant figure that was causing space to explode. A ghost ship. Startled cries rang out. This was a completely black ship that gave off an air of immense decay. Just looking at it was terrifying. The world started to collapse. People began to flee. But in the next instant, the ghost ship broke the shackles of space and time. Chaotic space filled this world, throwing the laws of heaven and earth into disorder. Long Chen's flame lotus was also affected and instantly dissipated. In that instant, the world was thrown into chaos. Everyone lost their connection to the world's energy. The ghost ship was like its own world crashing into this one. The chaotic flow of space poured into this world. As a result, some of the experts who had begun to flee were sucked into that chaotic flow. One of them, a peak expert capable of reaching this place, was instantly crushed. People were horrified to find that the arrival of the ghost ship had thrown time into chaos as well. Their own senses were off. The ghost ship had entered this world, and they had lost their best chance to escape. Get onto the ship, shouted Mo Nian. He shot an arrow onto the top side of the ship, and a hook appeared at the end of the arrow, clinging onto the ghost ship. A long chain then grew out of the arrow. The chaotic flow of spastime threatened to swallow this entire world. The ghost ship was their only choice. The ghost ships were said to be carriers of misfortune and calamity. It was said those who had set foot on a ghost ship all died miserably. There was only a single sovereign who had been a lucky survivor. Chaotic pastime continued to pour into this space. Whole regions collapsed like a giant mouth had clamped shut. It seemed that they were only one step from being swallowed into the stomach of a beast. Mo Nian had flown onto the ghost ship and Long Chen followed without hesitation. Everyone's fight was forced to stop due to the ghost ship's arrival. With this world about to be destroyed, the ghost ship was their only option. But this option might very well be another path to death or even worse. The white-robed man looked at the ghost ship without joy or sorrow. It's finally here. With a single step, 
he arrived on top of the ghost ship. His movements were still graceful and easy even through this chaotic flow. It seemed that the chaotic flow of space was unable to affect him. However, that was not the same for others. Within this chaotic flow, Feng Fei and the others could only use their divine items to protect themselves as they attempted to fly toward the ghost ship. Their divine items creaked from the pressure, making them all feel icy chills. The surprising thing was that Ji Ming was also unaffected by this chaotic flow. He was like a fish in water, chasing after the white-robed man like a specter. The white-robed man slashed his sword at Ji Ming, tearing through the chaotic flow. Ji Ming easily dodged, and as a result, the sword left a path through the chaotic flow. Many thanks. Two experts in particular had been unable to resist the chaotic flow of space and had been sucked by it, but the white-robed man's attack had created a path for them. The two of them immediately flew onto the boat by following that path. Yi Ming had realized that he had no advantage in this place. He then looked over at Long Chen who had reached the ghost ship and smiled coldly. His jagged sword suddenly slashed toward Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang. Long Chen had only just set foot onto the ghost ship and hadn't had time to appraise the situation when he saw Yi Ming's sinister smile. Killing intent exploded within him. Chapter 2491 I'll accompany you within this chaotic flow of space. Everyone was in danger. At this moment, Yi Ming flew back into it and attacked Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang. Bidang Rushuang's expression changed. It was difficult for them to pass through this chaotic flow. Any more trouble would knock them back further. Yi Ming was truly treacherous. This attack's power was normally nothing to them. But within this chaotic flow, it could be fatal. Nangong Zuiyu extended a hand. A curtain of water appeared within the chaotic flow. It followed the chaotic flow. And Yi Ming's attack was distorted as it passed through the water. Resulting in it flying past the two of them. Nangong Zuiyu's water energy was actually able to resolve Yi Ming's attack. However, doing so within this chaotic flow had come at a price. Her face instantly turned pale. Interesting. Yi Ming was surprised. Within this chaotic flow, they were cut off from heavenly Tao energy. The only reason he could move so freely here was due to his dark energy. Let's try again. Snorted Yi Ming, attacking once more. Yi Ming, you really are courting death. Are you provoking the everlasting families raged Bidang Rushuang? The everlasting families? They're nothing in my eyes, sneered Yi Ming. Bidang Rushuang's fury soared. She raised her bow. But she was stopped by Nangong Zuiyu. If you do that, we will lose any chance of escaping this chaotic flow. I'll handle it. Nangong Zuiyu formed hand seals. Her true water energy was able to borrow a bit of the energy of the chaotic flow of space to distort Yi Ming's attacks. The backlash is too great. You'll definitely be severely injured and we'll still be dead. If we're going to die anyway, we might as well drag him down with us, said Bidang Rushuang hatefully. She could see that Nangong Zuiyu had borrowed some of the power of the chaotic flow of space. However, that power did not belong to the heavenly Deos. Using it was not easy. Nangong Zuiyu had already been injured, and doing so again would worsen her injury. Yi Ming, if you want to play, I'll accompany you. Long Chen's icy voice rang out. He attacked through the chaotic flow. Long Chen, Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang were both startled. It was far too dangerous for Long Chen to come back at this time. Ha ha ha, I was waiting for you, laughed Yi Ming. His sword twisted, slashing toward Long Chen. Long Chen, don't fall for his trap, shouted Nangong Zuiyu. Yi Ming was clearly attacking them to draw Long Chen out and trap him here. Get onto the ship, I'll kill him. This piece of trash has really pissed me off, said Long Chen. Boom, Evil Moon slammed into the jagged sword. Space twisted around them. Yi Ming, you are supposed to be a generation's genius, a reincarnation of a corrupt god, but you do such shameful things. The so called corrupt gods really are trash, sneered Long Chen angrily. This was the action of a god? It was more like that of a slightly smellier pile of dung. Boom. Long Chen attacked once more. He was also unaffected by the chaotic flow of space. A little mortal thinks he can understand the mind of the gods? Such lies will only increase your own karma. You should be respectful toward the gods, snorted Yi Ming. However, 
He was a bit surprised that Long Chen could fight within this chaotic flow. What he was unaware of was that when Long Chen had stepped into the third step of Nether Passage, he had relied on the death energy within the chaotic flow. Hence, he also had a bit of control over this kind of energy. With Long Chen attacking Yi Ming, Nang Gong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang quickly flew onto the flying boat. Long Chen attacked three times, clashing with Yi Ming thrice. He was startled to sense that Yi Ming's power was rapidly climbing. It was as if he was being supported by the energy here Novaloon.com ha ha ha. Have you noticed? I don't mind telling you. The reason I released the Heaven Devouring Fiend King was to obtain its devouring power. I've already succeeded. This chaotic flow of space can't do anything to me. And its dark energy is strengthening my own. As for you, you will die here. Yi Ming laughed. Looking at the ship and seeing that everyone else had flown onto it. He suddenly waved his hand. Pillars appeared within the chaotic flow, trapping Long Chen. Don't you like trapping others? The cycle of karma has determined that you should experience what it feels like to be trapped. Yi Ming suddenly retreated, forming hand seals and summoning a giant black prison within the chaotic flow. The prison quickly shrank, its pressure crashing down on Long Chen's body. He felt like millions of black swords were pressing down on his body. Long Chen swung Evil Moon at one of the pillars. And although he made a cut into it, he didn't break it. It also quickly reformed thanks to the endless dark energy in the surroundings. Your saber really is amazing. It's actually able to cut into my dark energy chains. Such a treasure is a waste in your hands. It's more suited to me. Yi Ming's eyes fell on Evil Moon. Evil Moon's runes lit up. It began to absorb the energy of the prison. That energy had a certain connection to it. Just at this moment. The ghost ship began to fly off in another direction. Ha ha ha. The ghost ship is leaving. Even with a divine weapon. You can't escape my cage. You'll die here. Laughed Yi Ming. His laughter grew louder as if he was exaggerating it to strike a blow on Long Chen's confidence. As well as to let the others on the ship hear it. Long Chen. Your power has dropped too much. Restricting my power. It will take several breaths time to break this cage. Said Evil Moon. Having absorbed the dragon source's energy, Evil Moon had greatly weakened the seal on it, causing its power to soar. However, even then, it was unable to release its full power without Long Chen's aid. The most worrisome thing was that Yi Ming was still there like a fish in water. He wasn't afraid of the chaotic flow of space at all. Once the ghost ship left, Long Chen would be left here with Yi Ming. Space has already stabilized. I'll use my strongest technique to decide victory Long Chen's gaze was icy. A flame lotus slowly condensed in his hand. Impossible. In your current state, you can't handle the backlash of the world extermination flame lotus. Warned Evil Moon. If I can't endure it, then he won't be able to either. Long Chen had overestimated Yi Ming. He had never thought that someone who had once become a god would be so contemptible. Long Chen couldn't wait to kill him. Just as the flame lotus appeared, a ball of flames began to grow intense within his primal chaos space. Those were the karmic hell flames he had taken from the netherworld. Huo Linger had managed to absorb a trace of their power but was unable to truly absorb them. Those karmic hell flames had been left as rations for Huo Linger. They were a priceless treasure, but Long Chen was prepared to use them. The flame lotus slowly grew, turning blood red. It was completely different from the normal flame lotus. All its power was condensed within it. But when it appeared, the chaotic flow of space within this world clearly trembled. Although it was just a subtle change that no one else sensed. Yi Ming did. He formed hand seals, strengthening his prison. Looking at the flame lotus, he sneered. No magical arts can be stable within this space. And the heavenly deos are also in chaos. Your resistance is futile. Your only chance is to use that weapon of yours to slowly exhaust me. But I already have everything under control. All of your options are foolish. Long Chen ignored Yi Ming's mocking. He was only trying to rattle him. Although Yi Ming had once become a god, he was constantly putting on such an idiotic act. Most likely, it was to draw Mo Nian, Nangong Zuiyu, and Bidang Rushuang's attention. If they came over to save Long Chen they would fall into his trap. Although such a scheme was very stupid, Long Chen was well aware of just how effective it could be. 
After all, he had jumped into it just now. No matter how strong a person was, by grasping their weak point, a stupid scheme could still have a great effect. The ghost ship was already far into the distance. Distorted sounds came from there as if something was happening. Suddenly, a white figure appeared on top of the ghost ship. A giant anchor came flying back toward Long Chen. Divine light exploded on the ghost ship. The day-night furnace appeared, blocking the white figure. There was also a fight going on the ghost ship. Boom. The anchor crashed into the black prison, and the prison instantly exploded. At the same time, Yi Ming's hands were blasted apart, and he was shocked. Just at that moment, a hand with a blood-red flame lotus on it silently smashed into his chest. Chapter 2492 Setting foot on the ghost ship the blood-red lotus in Long Chen's hand exploded into Yi Ming's chest. It was like a flower of death blooming. Yi Ming had received an immense backlash from the ghost ship's anchor breaking his prison, and Long Chen was grasping this perfect chance to attack. In that instant, Yi Ming felt a sensation of death. His sharp intuition was telling him that Long Chen's attack had fooled his senses and was truly a terrifying attack that he had underestimated. Now, he had no time to dodge, and with his hands blasted apart from the backlash, he couldn't even form hand seals. His Yuan spirit appeared out of his head, forming hand seals for him. Thousands of chains appeared behind Yi Ming's back, stretching into the darkness. Just at that moment, Long Chen's world extermination flame lotus exploded. Boom. Yi Ming's chest was instantly pierced through, and the chains behind him were also blasted to bits. Yi Ming hacked up blood as he flew back. Yi Ming was appalled. Just now, he had summoned his manifestation, and his chains had passed the energy of Long Chen's attack into his manifestation. Unexpectedly though, his dark energy that had never failed him was actually unable to absorb all of Long Chen's energy. At best, it had weakened his attack by 30%. The rest had exploded into his chest. If it weren't for the 30% that had been absorbed, he would have definitely been blown apart. Even if he could protect his Yuan spirit, his physical body would be irreparable. In his last life, he had never encountered such a strange energy. This energy was not within the scope of things that his dark energy could devour. Yi Ming was finally afraid and retreated. If this continued, he might end up leaving his life in this place. He had never dreamed that Long Chen could control a power that his dark energy couldn't devour. His manifestation had crumbled and he could no longer continue. You think you can run? Long Chen snorted. Lightning wings spread on his back. Although his own situation was not good, he refused to let Yi Ming get away this time. As long as he gritted his teeth and didn't give Yi Ming any breathing room, he was confident that he could kill him. Long Chen. Get on. Mo Nian's shout suddenly rang out from the ghost ship. Long Chen was unable to see his figure, but he could hear the panic in his voice. Looking at the severely injured Yi Ming that was retreating, Long Chen furiously clenched his fists. Once again, karmic luck was messing up his plans. It had been the same thing when he had been about to slay Jarishan. Something unexpected always happened. If Mo Nian didn't have something gravely important, he wouldn't be calling for him in such a panic. Yi Ming, I'll take your life next time. Long Chen clenched his teeth and flew back to the ghost ship. It was so fast that he was unable to catch up, so he had no choice but to grab the anchor. Although he was prepared this time, the strange scenes that had occurred the last time reappeared. He ignored them, forcing himself to climb up the chain. It was very slow climbing up this long chain. Furthermore, the closer he got to the ghost ship, the more the scenes in his head fluctuated. Suddenly, the anchor was pulled in, dragging him toward the ghost ship. It was unknown if it was someone pulling him over or the ghost ship's automatic reaction. Long Chen felt his body flying through the chaotic flow of space, and it was as though knives were cutting across his body. Anyone else would probably be unable to endure this. Finally, he arrived on the ghost ship. A layer of light had appeared on the ghost ship at some point, and he smashed into it like it was a mountain, causing stars to spin in his head. He almost coughed up blood, before he could even get a sense of his surroundings. Cold astral wind appeared. This astral wind was a killing blow. Long Chen had no time to think. He summoned the demon moon furnace. After that, sparks exploded and Long Chen tumbled back. 
He raised his head to see that his attacker was Di Feng. Di Feng had his manifestation up and was the one attacking him. A weakened tiger can die to a dog. But do you think that you are qualified to sneak attack me? Long Chen was enraged. If it wasn't for Mo Nian, Long Chen would have long since wiped out Di Feng himself. Long Chen, ignore that dog. Get over here. Mo Nian's voice rang out from a distance. At this moment, Long Chen saw Mo Nian, Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, and the white robed man surrounded by attackers. Amongst those attackers were Feng Fei, Jarishan, and Yu Kingsuan. The white robed man was extremely powerful though. Every swing of his sword sliced through the void, forcing Feng Fei back repeatedly. Yu Kingsuan's Danite furnace slammed down, only to be knocked back by Mo Nian's bow. Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang had also joined the battle for some reason and were being attacked by Jarishan and the others. Dozens of other experts had joined the battle at this time. Those experts weren't particularly famous, but they were extremely powerful. With them surrounding Mo Nian and the others, they were in constant danger. Long Chen then saw a giant gate behind the white robed man. The gate was closed, but there was light peeking out from the cracks. The light was fluctuating more and more intensely as if it might open at any moment. Long Chen realized that the white-robed man must know something about this place and wanted to be the first to enter the gate. So he was being attacked by Feng Fei and the others. I'm here. Long Chen charged through with the Demon Moon Furnace. Three experts got in his way but were blown back. Di Feng also tried to stop him but was forced back by an arrow from Mo Nian. Boom. The demon moon furnace then slammed into the Danite furnace. The two pill furnaces rumbled, emitting an ear-piercing screech. Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood, but thanks to the demon moon furnace, he managed to smoothly enter the center of the battlefield. You're finally here. Let's go. The white-robed man nodded as if he had been waiting for Long Chen. He then sliced his sword before him, leaving a giant cut in the void enveloping everyone attacking them. Feng Fei and the other's attacks were strangely sent twisting away by some kind of mysterious energy contained within his slash. It seemed to contain some kind of spastime law that rejected their attacks. Not good. Jarishan's expression changed. He smashed a fist at the sword light but was unable to break it. Just at that moment, the gate opened. Long Chen felt his body lighten, and the scene before him changed. He found himself on top of a giant boat. Before this, the prow of the ghost ship had been completely dark, making it impossible to see what was going on. Now, Long Chen saw that this was an ancient ship. It was not a flying boat. It looked like an ordinary ship used to sail the seas in the mortal world. The only shocking thing about it was its size that far exceeded anything in the mortal world. There's people here. Nangong Zuaya was startled. More and more figures were appearing around them at this moment. Those people all wore ancient clothing but they were varied. There were men and women, young and old. They were moving, seemingly conversing with each other and working on the ship. Suddenly, everyone's attention was drawn by one scene in particular. They saw thousands of people pulling a rope. They were dragging up the sail. In the next moment, a group of people carrying a cask appeared, walking straight toward them. Mo Nian got out of the way, but those people made a sudden turn, and one person slipped, falling. Careful, Mo Nian reached out, but that person slipped right through his fingers. Mo Nian stared down to see his hand had passed straight through this person's body. The person fell, causing the cask to fall as well. The scent of alcohol filled the air. One of the people carrying the cask was particularly enraged and took out a whip, striking the person who had fallen over ten times. It was only when the victim was crying and his flesh was bloody that he stopped. They quickly got water and cleaned up the alcohol. Curiously though, their bodies began to pass through each other as they worked. Everyone, this ghost ship is the one that Sovereign Yun Shang stopped back in the day. The cycle has now come full circle, and it has reappeared. I thought that this ghost ship was waiting for me, but now I found that all the karma has been thrown into disorder. Perhaps this was arranged by the Sovereign. This ghost ship passed through the past and the future. Its secrets have never been uncovered. Even the sovereigns have to be careful about it. By using the ghost ship's power, my spastime sword curse has blocked them for two hours. After two hours, they will also enter. So we should split up to explore the ghost ship. 
No one knows the secrets of the ghost ships. What we see on it are nothing more than its fragmented memories. By standing at different places, you will see different things. What you see, what you can obtain, whether good or bad, will be entirely up to your luck, said the white-robed man. Many thanks, brother. Then I won't stand on courtesy. I'm very curious about things that I don't know. So I'll take the first step. Mo Nyan cupped his fists to the white-robed man and stepped forward. With just one step, he vanished from everyone's vision, causing everyone to jump. Space is in chaos here. With one step, he entered a different time than us. Once we split up, we will appear in different space times. Unless you all reach the end of the ship, no one will be running into each other again, explained the white-robed man. Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang nodded. It seemed that it was impossible for two people to pass through this place together. With a reminder to be careful, they nodded and stepped forward, vanishing. Long Chen cupped his fists toward the white-robed man as well and started to walk away when the white-robed man said, Brother Long, please wait a moment. Chapter 2493 Two paths Long Chen paused and turned back. The white-robed man said, This ship has countless opportunities on it, as well as countless dangers. The ghost ship has temporarily lost its direction and is trapped within the dragon nest. But once it breaks out of the dragon nest, it will find its original path. The Starfield Divine World is just one of its temporary stops. Before it breaks the dragon nest, we must reach the aft of the ship. Otherwise, we'll be dragged away by the ghost ship to unknown worlds. At that time, the barrier separating the ghost ship from the outside will strengthen in order to pass through the wall between worlds. If you were still here by then, you would be trapped here and die of old age. Long Chen's expression changed. Mo Nian and the others were unaware of this. If they wasted too much time, they wouldn't return. You don't need to worry about them. They are walking normal paths. Even if they don't reach the end, when the dragon nest breaks, they will see the end anyway. The reason I have called you is because there are two particularly special places on the ship. I'm asking if you want to go there or not, said the white-robed man. Are they very dangerous? The white-robed man nodded. One of them was left to me by Sovereign Yan Shang. He told me to go there. As for the other one, Sovereign Yan Shang told me not to go there under any circumstances. Long Chen's heart pounded. Are you? The strange divine light shrouding the white-robed man's face suddenly faded. You. Long Chen jumped in shock. This person was clearly Sovereign Yan Shang. It was only their eyes that were slightly different. I am Sovereign Yan Shang's son, Yan Tian. Greetings, Brother Long. The white robed man smiled and cupped his fists at Long Chen. Even the graceful way he acted was identical to Sovereign Yan Shang. Greetings, Brother Yan. I didn't expect Sovereign Yan Shang to have a son. This is wonderful news for the Martial Heaven continent, said Long Chen. Long Chen was full of questions. Although he had suspected that this person was Sovereign Yan Shang's descendant, he hadn't thought that it was possible for him to be his son. His appearance, his mannerisms, even the nobility revealed with each of his movements was similar. Long Chen didn't doubt that he was related to Sovereign Yan Shang in the slightest. Brother Long, have you seen Sovereign Yan Shang? asked Yan Tian, curiously, despite calling himself his son. He didn't call Sovereign Yan Shang his father. Long Chen nodded, explaining how he had encountered Sovereign Yan Shang in the spirit world. So that's the case. Yan Tian nodded. Seeing his confusion, Yan Tian explained, Now I finally understand why what Sovereign Yan Shang left for me ended up taken by you. Back then, Sovereign Yan Shang left not just Dragonbone Evil Moon but also the evil dragon soul essence for you. But you only obtained one. While the evil dragon soul essence was taken by someone else, that has caused all the following karma to become distorted. It is no longer within Sovereign Yan Shang's control. However, the amount of essence blood within the blood essence stone is enough for me to awaken the dormant sovereign blood in my body, so you don't need to feel guilty over it. If such a distortion had not occurred, I would follow Sovereign Yan Shang's instructions and choose the path that he left for me. But now, I feel that the Sovereign's calculations have gone astray. Following his instructions will probably only cause greater problems. So I wish to discuss with you what paths to take. These two paths are both filled with dangers, especially the other path. What do you think? 
Long Chen said. You should take the path that the Sovereign left for you. Because I am always someone outside of others' plans, I will walk the other path. This second path had to be even more dangerous due to Sovereign Yun Shang's warning. But based on Long Chen's experience, the more dangerous it was, the greater the possible rewards would be. Yun Tian pondered this. You obtained the Dragon King Blood Essence Stone first, and the karma has been distorted. Perhaps karma has deviated toward you. You should walk the path Sovereign Yun Shang indicated Yun Tian was caught in a difficult position. The Sovereign's calculations had gone amiss. If they continued to make the wrong choice, things would only grow worse. Ah, this is a simple decision to make. I have a coin here. We can flip it. The front side represents me, and the back represents you. This can decide which one of us walks the path that Sovereign Yun Shang indicated. Why not let the heavens decide? Suggested Long Chen. This idea is not bad. Yun Shian's eyes brightened. Long Chen smiled and flipped a coin. It landed on the ground, bounced a few times, and lay there. As expected, Long Chen was prepared. His luck was constant and had never followed him before. It landed backside up. The heavens have left the other path to me, said Long Chen. After confirming that Long Chen hadn't cheated, Yun Tian nodded. He solemnly said, All right, then go to the left. I will take the right. Let's both live to see each other once more. Yun Tian walked to the right, and with one step, he vanished. Everyone else had stepped forward without realizing that there were two completely different paths to the left and right. We all have to work hard to survive. Even the path that Sovereign Yun Shang indicated probably isn't an easy one, muttered Long Chen to himself. He stepped to the left. The surroundings instantly changed. The ship was still a ship with the same structure, but everything else had changed. Kill. A fierce cry rang out followed by a cold sword chi slashing toward Long Chen. Long Chen hastily dodged, only to find that the sword chi continued to slash toward him. The sword chi passed straight through his body without causing any damage. It seemed that he was in an illusory world that he was not part of but could see. The sword chi hadn't struck him but an expert behind him. That expert exploded. Long Chen could smell the scent of blood. He could feel the warm blood dripping down his body. Long Chen realized that he was in the middle of a battlefield. There were two groups of people killing each other on the ghost ship. He was unable to see the original crew members. There were only two groups of experts fighting. Standing there, he saw them crazily attacking each other. He observed them closely. Their fighting style was completely different from the martial heaven continents. Their fighting style was like those of mortals who didn't know how to cultivate, but a casual blow from them still contained immense power. Long Chen was unable to tell where this power came from. Their chaotic battle continued. They were both charging toward the central tower that was located between two giant masts. It didn't make sense how it could tower out of the ship so high, but the reality was that it did. After watching for a while, Long Chen only managed to grasp that little bit of information. He shook his head. His time was precious, and since he couldn't tell anything else from this scene, he took another step. Those people vanished but the battlefield remained. Now, it was a different group fighting. He also saw that the surroundings had changed. Before this, the ghost ship had been passing through the chaotic flow of space, leaving everything in darkness. But now, the surroundings were speckled with stars. The ghost ship was passing through the starry sky. The starry sky was peaceful, but there was a cruel slaughter occurring on the ship. Long Chen saw the original crew members from the start, but now they were being killed. It was like a ship that was being plundered by pirates. The pirates killed any of the crew members that they saw without the slightest mercy. The crew members were quickly slaughtered. Meanwhile, the pirates laughed and charged toward the same tower. After they reached it, the world grew silent once more. After entering the tower, not one came out. Long Chen stepped forward once more. He saw a bloody battle again. This time it wasn't just humans he saw. He saw a race of beasts with human heads and fierce monsters with dark auras around them. There were various races fighting each other. Their target was once more the tower. It seems that they all want to get the tower. But when I got onto the ghost ship, the tower wasn't there. Long Chen started to grow uneasy. He had a premonition that he was gradually approaching somewhere extremely dangerous. 
Long Chen continued stepping forward, and the scenes continued to change. The wood of the ghost ship grew redder and redder from blood. Its aura also grew more ominous. At first, the ghost ship's aura had been quite peaceful, but as he continued to advance through the scenes, the atmosphere grew darker. Long Chen felt like he was walking toward the gates of hell. Actually, this aura was even more frightening than hell. Without even realizing it, Long Chen started to get goosebumps all along his neck. His nerves tightened. This really is a damnable place. I don't feel like my guts are small. So why am I trembling? Long Chen involuntarily gulped. There was something terrifying up ahead. Fuck. I have to see what it is. Long Chen clenched his teeth. With a deep breath, he continued forward. With every step, he saw more blood. There were all kinds of races that he had never seen before appearing. Their attack styles and techniques were foreign to him, but their power was truly stunning. The scent of blood grew stronger, and a chill pervaded his body. His entire body ached. Suddenly, Long Chen dodged. A cold light flew over his head, leaving a line of blood on his forehead. Evil Moon appeared in his hand, and he slashed it at the life form in front of him. Chapter 2494 Resentful Spirit Long Chen's saber slashed through the air. The figure in front of him was just an illusory figure, but their sword chi still managed to injure him. Others could harm him now, but he was unable to harm them. Long Chen felt a chill. That is a terrifying expert. The power of his sword is able to pass through the river of time to affect you. However, theoretically, an expert on this level has yet to reach the level of slicing through time. He is most likely from the same era as you or at least somewhat close, said Evil Moon. You're finally speaking, said Long Chen. When Yan Tian had revealed his identity, Long Chen had actually been worried about Evil Moon cursing him. After all, its current state was due to Yun Shang. It had immense hatred for Yun Shang. If Evil Moon wanted to kill Yun Shang's son to avenge itself, Long Chen would be in a difficult position. But Evil Moon had been silent the entire time, and he didn't know what it was thinking. Who do you think I am to bother with someone from the junior generation? You really underestimated the pride of the dark evil dragon race. If I wanted vengeance I'd get it against Yun Shang himself. Snorted Evil Moon. Long Chen felt a weight fall off his shoulders. Then what is going on here? What else? Isn't it obvious? This ghost ship passes through time. Wherever it arrives, experts charge onto it for that strange tower. Everything you've seen is just fragments of time. This ghost ship might have passed through hundreds of millions of years. Whether it was those life forms that you saw or even yourself, you're all just passing travelers to the ghost ship. Perhaps years from now, someone else will step onto the ghost ship and see you. There's nothing curious about it. The ghost ships are inexplicable mysteries of the cosmos. Where they come from, where they are going, no one can say for sure. As for being called ships of misfortune, that's because the people who encounter them are affected by too much karma, and their lives aren't tough enough to endure it. As for you, you don't need to worry about this because you already have so much karma implicating you that this addition is nothing. Explained Evil Moon Noveloon.com The main thing is that their attacks are able to reach me while I can't attack them, and I haven't even reached the core. Aren't I going to die before getting a chance to add this karma? Long Chen didn't really mind the karma. There's nothing you can do about it. The river of time flows from top down. Have you ever seen someone try to fart at someone upwind from them? Said Evil Moon. Damn, that comparison is convincing Long Chen was speechless. But Evil Moon was correct. He was unable to go back through time to attack these people that might have died countless years ago. Stop hesitating. Time is pressing. Just staring at these life forms isn't going to help you much. That tower definitely has something good in it. It's not like you can go back at this time. If there are no other variables, then it's entirely up to you whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. Furthermore, haven't you noticed? You've fully recovered. Your dragon blood energy has returned to its peak. What are you doing being so careful? Only now did Long Chen realize that his dragon blood energy, spiritual strength, and spiritual Yuan had all fully recovered. Even his previous injuries were gone. What's going on? Asked Long Chen. Time is in chaos on the ghost ship. Every step is hundreds or thousands of years through the river of time. 
Although it's not equivalent to you actually experiencing that time, your energy began to recover without you even being aware of it, and you don't need to worry about your life draining away. I'm not saying you'll age a hundred years with each step. There are many things about the ghost ships that cannot be judged according to common sense. No one can explain them. To sum it up, you can close your eyes and walk forward blindly. After talking for a while, even Evil Moon started to grow confused with its explanation and decided to give up. It simply urged Long Chen on. Long Chen felt the powerful spiritual Yuan within his body and the vigorous dragon blood. His confidence increased and he pressed onward. Scenes flew past him as he advanced. However, as countless illusory attacks passed through the air, Long Chen no longer dared to be as careless as before. When the occasional attack came toward him, he still dodged. Although most of the time that was meaningless, there were two times when the attacks actually did affect him. The most troublesome thing about those attacks was that he was unable to sense them. He didn't sense the danger because those attacks were not targeted toward him. It was like arrows raining on the battlefield that occasionally fell on him. Boom. A streak of light was blasted apart by a swing of Long Chen's saber. Long Chen's wrist shook and his arm turned numb. Damn. These people are quite powerful. Ha Long Chen was startled. That light had come from an extremely unremarkable figure on the battlefield. But it possessed immense power. After that, a giant beast opened its mouth and tried to bite Long Chen right as he finished his next step. By the time he realized it was trying to swallow him, he already found himself in its giant mouth. Boom. Evil Moon blasted apart the beast, filling the air with blood. Ha huh, this time, Long Chen and Evil Moon were both dumbfounded. Didn't you say that we couldn't attack them? Asked Long Chen. Ah, I don't know either. Theoretically, they're nothing more than images from time. They should have long since been wiped out by the river of time. They no longer even exist. So how can they attack us? Is this to say that they're still alive? So, be careful. Evil Moon suddenly shouted. A figure covered in black chi suddenly came charging toward Long Chen's back along with a sharp bone spear, all without the slightest sound. This time, Long Chen didn't need Evil Moon's warning to sense this life form's existence. He twisted, blocking the spear with his blade. A screech rang out when it stabbed into Evil Moon. Long Chen reached out to grab the life form's throat, but his hands passed straight through it. Just as his hand passed through its body, the life form became illusory and faded away bizarrely. No, these are resentful spirits that should be living in purgatory. Why would they appear on the ghost ship? exclaimed Evil Moon. The strange way that this life form vanished was truly frightening. It was like an assassin that came and went without the slightest warning. Long Chen continued onward gradually getting closer to the tower that all the life forms were desperate to reach. This illusory world gradually became real. He was no longer just a spectator to the battlefield. Instead, various life forms were starting to attack him as he passed through their times. Boom. Long Chen's divine ring appeared behind him, and he slashed one life form back with Evil Moon while stabbing a lightning spear behind him. Another curious life form had appeared silently but when it was pierced by the lightning spear, it let out a wail and dissipated into green smoke. Yes, they're definitely resentful spirits condensed of unyielding hatred. They are a bit similar to Yuan spirits, but still different. The strange thing is that these resentful spirits are supposed to only be able to exist within special spaces. The only place they can move about freely with their own thoughts is supposed to be purgatory. This ghost ship truly is bizarre. Does this ship also contain the laws of purgatory? Wondered Evil Moon. Long Chen didn't have time to think about it. More and more life forms were attacking. With every step, he was facing countless enemies. The further he went, the stronger they grew. Without killing them, he didn't dare to take a second step. The instant he switched between worlds, there was a moment of displacement. That moment could be death for him. Seeing the tower up ahead, Long Chen gritted his teeth. Lightning exploded out of him. With the lightning domain around him, he charged forward. Within this river of time, those life forms were paralyzed by his lightning. He charged all the way to the tower in one go. When he arrived at the bottom of it, he saw a giant door. It was inscribed with two ancient characters that he didn't recognize. Ignoring the characters, 
he charged into the door with lightning surrounding him. A terrifying pressure crashed down upon him as soon as he entered. At the same time, he saw blinding light coming from in front of him. He didn't even know how many attacks were coming. Split the heavens eight. He had expected that the inside of the tower would be far more dangerous. He immediately unleashed the attack he had been preparing. Boom. Divine light exploded. It was unknown just how many life forms were killed in that instant by Long Chen's attack. But there were still over 10 attacks that landed on Long Chen, leaving wounds on him. One ray of Sword Chi in particular pierced through his lower leg. Azure Dragon Battle Armor. A brilliant dragon row resounded throughout the tower. With Evil Moon in hand, Long Chen was like a wild gale sweeping through the life forms he saw. The surrounding life forms were rapidly killed. But Long Chen was surprised to see the life forms quickly reform after being killed. Don't waste time. Climb up to the second floor, said Evil Moon. Only now did Long Chen see a giant staircase that seemed to be leading to the next level. He rushed over, but as soon as his foot set onto it, the world around him suddenly changed. Bookmark. Chapter 2495 Once more meeting Yun Chang the instant he stepped onto the staircase, the world faded. Even the stairs were no longer visible here. He was on a path to an unknown world, and everything behind him vanished. He could only advance step by step. Here, every step felt like going against the flow of time. With every step, the resistance grew, but it was still at a level that Long Chen could endure. When he reached the end of the staircase, he found himself on a level with more life forms that immediately attacked. He charged through them and took the next staircase. He repeated this until the seventh level. On the seventh level, the creatures were so powerful that he was barely able to get past them while becoming covered in blood. It took three tries for him to reach the next staircase. Once he was there, he gasped for breath. His wound slowly healed. What were those things? Asked Long Chen. Those life forms had been incredibly powerful. The life forms within this tower were varied. Some were human, and some were beasts. There were also some strange existences that he had never encountered before. But without exception, they were all extremely powerful with their own unique attack styles. Amongst them had been a dark ant that had spat out black mist. That black mist had almost instantly corroded his soul. If it wasn't for his powerful spiritual strength, he probably would have lost his senses for a moment and been killed. This tower is too strange. It's like its own world. Like the heavenly deos. It seems to be replicating the experts that died inside. Even their attacks are replicated to strike those who come later. You should be happy because the next person is going to have it even worse. They'll have to face your attacks, said Evil Moon. What? I'm also being replicated, asked Long Chen. Most likely, Long Chen began to sweat. This path was pointed out by Sovereign Yun Shang. Doesn't that mean, looking at the end of the path, Long Chen felt a chill. Was he able to face Sovereign Yun Shang as an enemy? Ah. Evil Moon was also stunned. If Sovereign Yun Shang was replicated by this tower, who could beat him? No wonder he told Yun Tian not to walk this path. Long Chen's expression darkened. A sovereign was an unbeatable existence. Just facing one alone would be deadly. But then there were also the attacks of the other life forms to consider. What a con. If he had said that from the start, would we have come here? Raged Evil Moon. Long Chen was now between the 7th and 8th levels. There was no way back. He could only continue onward. And that was probably a path to death. Long Chen was caught in an awkward position. Fuck. Let's do it. Long Chen took a deep breath. Looking inside himself and seeing that he had fully recovered. He stepped forward. The 8th level should not be the most dangerous. Most likely. The Sovereign was waiting for him on the 9th level. As soon as he stepped onto the 8th floor. He swung his saber, only to hit nothing. The space around him was empty. Ha Long Chen and Evil Moon stared. This was different from what they had expected. Are you surprised? Noveloon.com just at this moment, a voice made Long Chen jump. He hastily turned around, almost attacking. But when he saw that figure, he let out a startled cry. Sovereign Yun Shang standing there was Sovereign Yun Shang. Long Chen would never be able to forget his eyes. He wore white robes and seemed untouched by the dust of the mortal world, as if he had already transcended mortal struggles. Ah, 
So the me that you've seen before has already become a sovereign what Long Chen was first startled and then realized that one he was seeing right now was the young sovereign Yun Shang. The one he had encountered in the spirit world was him after becoming a sovereign. In other words, this Yun Shang before him had yet to become a sovereign. Brat, you're just Yun Shang's clone. What are you doing here? Demanded Evil Moon. Yun Shang smiled. From the moment I saw Long Chen, I was no longer just a clone. It seems that you bear quite a grudge against me. Bear a grudge? Hmm. Winners are winners and losers are losers. What's the point of bearing a grudge? It's just too bad that you're already dead. Or once I have recovered, I would definitely fight you again. If I had my 10,000 dragon nest with me last time, I might not have lost. Snorted Evil Moon. Long Chen was just staring. Yun Shang's aura was gradually changing. That's correct. If you weren't too careless and had the support of the 10,000 dragon nest, I would have needed to go all out against you. But even then, so what? Even if you beat me, what would you do after destroying the spirit race? You would just continue devouring and devouring, allowing your own desires to devour you. No matter how strong you grow in that state, what's the point? Are you not happy with your current self? Yun Shang looked at Evil Moon profoundly. HMPH, what do I have to be happy about? I don't even have my body anymore, and I have to fight with a useless fellow. Every time, my power is suppressed to his level. Am I supposed to be grateful to you? Snorted Evil Moon. Yun Shang smiled and didn't reply. He turned to Long Chen. My current self is my past, and what you saw before would be my future self. Now that we meet again, my past and future bodies are being connected by your karma. My future self has gradually merged with this body. That's why my aura is changing. I don't really get it, but it sounds badass. A sovereign really is a sovereign, said Long Chen with sincere admiration. Long Chen was ranked amongst the highest level of experts of the Martial Heaven continent, but compared to Sovereign Yun Shang, he was vastly inferior. That's different. Our eras are different. Although at that time the continent had just experienced the ancient immortal battle and started declining, there were still some intact inheritances. But you were born in a declined era with the most marvelous inheritances already becoming fragmented. Even shockingly talented people did not have the benefit of those inheritances. Also, you should change your appellation a bit. Sovereign is what outsiders call me. You should call me Big Brother. Yun Shang patted Long Chen's shoulder. Sovereign Yun Shang's aura had now transformed, going from a slightly foreign feeling at the start to the same aura of the Sovereign Yun Shang that Long Chen had encountered in the spirit world. It seemed that his past and future selves had finished merging. This was something that Long Chen had never encountered before, making him feel like an inexperienced brat in comparison. His familiar eyes, his familiar voice, his familiar actions. Long Chen felt as if he had returned to that space from back then. Big brother, Sovereign Yun Shang nodded. There's no need to be embarrassed. Calling him brother is a matter between the two of you. The two of us are a different matter. Long Chen nodded. He truly had been a bit embarrassed over this. If he called Yun Tian brother as well, the seniority would be a bit messed up. Big brother, why are you here? Asked Long Chen. This is a clone of mine. When I stopped the ghost ship back then, I opened my heavenly fate eyes, seeing countless opportunities from the ghost ship. I also saw what I needed, but there was one thing that I was unable to take along with the others in one trip, so I left it for Yun Tian to take, said Sovereign Yun Shang. Big brother, I don't understand. If you have heavenly fate eyes capable of seeing the future, why was there such a miscalculation? Asked Long Chen referring to the matter of the Dragon King Blood Essence Stone. Although I have heavenly fate eyes, they can only see a fraction of the future and only of one world. When I left Evil Moon and its Dragon Core sealed for you, I was unable to see that the Dragon Core would end up being taken by a god from a different world. That was not within the scope of my heavenly fate eyes. Due to her taking it, my calculations were thrown off. Furthermore, the future is not on Chang'ing. So don't trust in divinations too much. To cultivate is to strive against the future fate has in store for you. Otherwise, everyone would simply be born, grow old, and die in an endless cycle. 
To cultivate is to be unwilling to leave your fate in someone else's hands. The future is always within your own hands. Yan Shang suddenly took a turn, saying, This clone of mine was left behind to see who would arrive here in the future. I didn't expect to see you. To protect this clone, I wiped out the strands of the other life forms and absorbed their energy to keep my clone alive. This explained why there were no other life forms on this level. They had all been killed by Sovereign Yan Shang. Long Chen felt even greater admiration for him. The life forms on this level had to be even stronger than the seventh levels. Furthermore, the life forms in this tower were essentially undying due to the tower's laws, but Sovereign Yan Shang had still managed to kill them permanently. Since you've come, let's go to the ninth level, said Sovereign Yan Shang, walking toward the staircase up ahead. Big brother, you haven't gone up to the ninth level before asked Long Chen. I went up, but there was karma suppressing me telling me that the ninth floor is not for me. Perhaps this opportunity was not meant for me. I used my heavenly fate eyes to come here, which is in itself a form of cheating. So it rejected me. I've tried several times but never managed to get through. Now that you're here, you should be able to pass. I also want to see what secrets are up above. Walking alongside Sovereign Yan Shang, Long Chen stepped onto the staircase. The world twisted and a black bone blade slashed toward them with a sinisterly dark aura. Chapter 2496 Heaven Shrouding Mirror Long Chen had never encountered an attack while actually being on the staircase path. The bone blade came out of nowhere and was deathly silent before suddenly erupting right as it was about to strike them. A berserk and violent aura exploded. It was vaguely possible to see runes interweaving it up the blade. Long Chen's heart turned cold. Due to being with Sovereign Yan Shang, his guard had dropped quite a bit. He didn't even have his divine ring or battle armor summoned. He gripped Evil Moon tightly. However, before he could attack, Sovereign Yan Shang extended a hand. The bone blade suddenly stopped in the air, caught by his hand. Long Chen jumped in shock. That terrifying blade was easily caught by Sovereign Yan Shang's bare hand, and Long Chen didn't even sense his aura fluctuating meaning that doing this had not taken any effort. Sovereign Yan Shang pressed with his thumb. Long Chen saw a flash of light appear on it. The blade snapped. With another wave of his hand, the void was torn open, and a figure was shattered by the broken blade. Another bone blade suddenly appeared. The shattered blade in Sovereign Yan Shang's hand disintegrated, and he grabbed the new bone blade with his bare hand once more. Long Chen, look closely at his movements, whispered Evil Moon. He didn't need Evil Moon's reminder. He was already staring at Sovereign Yan Shang's technique with rapt attention. The second bone blade was caught and broken in the same manner as the first. He then turned the broken blade back onto its wielder. This time, Long Chen saw the attacker. It was a strange life form with no flesh or blood. It was a skeleton that looked a bit like a hunchback. There was a long tailbone on its back. This strange life form had its broken blade slice into its head. He saw a red light flicker when they touched. Boom. The life form shattered, turning to dust. Long Chen was awed. This strange life form was actually very powerful, and if it was him, he would need to use his full power to block it. But Sovereign Yan Shang killed them with a wave of his hand. Did you see it? Asked Evil Moon. No. I saw five different auras on his fingers in that one instant, but it was too quick for me to grasp. His five fingers represent metal wood, water, fire, and earth energies. It was originally his pinky finger that had the metal energy on it, but when he pressed with his thumb, the metal energy transferred to his thumb. The other energies also shifted in that moment, but I couldn't see how, said Long Chen, his heart pounding. This technique was far too abstruse. With his vision, he was only able to see the surface. The actual technicalities of the technique completely escaped him. Even if he did grasp it though, it would be useless. Who in this world was capable of controlling metal, wood, water, fire, and earth energy? At the very least, Long Chen had never encountered such a person. Amongst all the people he had encountered, the maximum he had seen was someone who could control three kinds of energy. But that person ended up being very ordinary in terms of talent, because amongst those three kinds of energy, there was a conflict between two resulting in countless barricades to his cultivation. 
That was why the majority of cultivators only controlled one kind of energy. Specialization was most important. Rather than being proficient in ten types, being a master of one was better. This truth had not changed from ancient times to now. This was a kind of talent that others could not learn. What Long Chen was trying to see was not how Sovereign Yun Chang controlled the circulation in his five elemental energy but how he fought. In Long Chen's view, Sovereign Yun Chang had used some kind of technique to break the bone blade, not brute power. The power within his hand was circulating in a complete cycle. He was in full control of that cycle and able to use its power at will. More bone blades appeared in midair, and Sovereign Yun Chang shattered them, returning them to their owners. This. Long Chen was shocked to find that even though those other life forms defended, none of their defenses had any effect. Sovereign Yun Chang easily shattered their blades and killed them. This bastard treated me just like this back then, raged Devil Moon hatefully. When he attacked, I had clearly blocked him, but somehow my defense was completely useless. This was an inexplicable technique. Evil Moon had suffered from it as well, and even now it didn't understand it. Those life forms were quickly killed one by one. Long Chen followed closely behind Sovereign Yun Shang, watching with amazement. If Sovereign Yun Shang were to attack him, how would he defend against it? Just thinking about it gave him a chill. His attack seemed to contain a spastim law. When you blocked it, his attack would no longer be there. The moment his attack appeared, it was like it had already landed. Furthermore, his movement seemed ephemeral. It didn't seem like he was using any of his power at all. His energy was concentrated perfectly to explode only when needed. Those life forms were like porcelain that was smashed by a hammer, instantly shattering on contact with him. Long Chen, whether or not you can comprehend this, you have to remember it. For Yun Shang to repeat this technique over and over again must have some deeper meaning. He is probably trying to transmit something to you but is unable to use words to teach you. You have to do your best, warned Evil Moon. Although Evil Moon hated Yun Shang, a defeat was a defeat. Even if it had lost, there were still some things that it could admire about Yun Shang. Sovereign Yun Shang's footsteps didn't pause. The staircase behind them gradually vanished. Long Chen wanted to ask how Sovereign Yun Shang had managed to retreat to the 8th level with the path behind them gone. Boom. The final life form was killed and the final step appeared in front of them. You should lead the way now. There's a barrier up ahead that blocked me many times, said Sovereign Yun Shang. Long Chen nodded and stepped forward. When he reached that step, divine light covered him. Long Chen's divine ring and five-star battle armor automatically activated. As the divine light scoured his body, his divine ring spun faster and faster. His astral spaces trembled. Long Chen felt like some kind of energy was investigating him. Long Chen was a bit nervous. He didn't know whether or not he could open this door. He had never been confident in his good luck. Suddenly, the divine light vanished. A giant door materialized before him and slowly opened. As expected, this opportunity is for you. Let's go. Sovereign Yun Shang smiled and walked in together with Long Chen. When they walked in. Long Chen found himself in a transparent space. Stars flickered around them as if they were standing in the middle of the cosmos. There was a platform beneath their feet floating within this cosmos. Standing within this place made Long Chen feel incredibly minuscule. It's actually the heaven shrouding mirror. No wonder so many people would die for it. Sovereign Yun Chang nodded. He reached out toward the air. The air fluctuated violently. And then a giant circular mirror appeared. The mirror's outer ring spun while the interior didn't change. It reflected Long Chen. But Long Chen was surprised to see that there was no Yun Shang within its reflection. I'm already dead. The heaven shrouding mirror can only reflect the past and future of the living, said Sovereign Yun Shang. The heaven shrouding mirror is a heaven defying divine item. It is outside the scope of the laws of heaven and earth. Here, you can divine your past and future, but as a cultivator, it is taboo to see your future, so instead you can try to divine your techniques with the most potential to see how you can develop them. It's too bad I didn't have this chance, or my 9 heaven 10 earth severing celestial art might have reached true perfection. A trace of sorrow and regret appeared within Sovereign Yun Chang's eyes as if he was a bit envious of Long Chen. 
It can allow me to see how a magical art can be developed, asked Long Chen. Yes, because it is not limited by the laws of heaven and earth. It is something that shuttles through the past and the future. It has its own miraculous abilities. Think hard about what your strongest technique is. You'll only have one chance, warned Sovereign Yun Shang. How do I do it? Walk into the mirror and display your technique. Long Chen excitedly stepped forward. In front of the mirror, he felt like he was in a spastime tunnel. Divine light streaked around him as if he was moving. Five-star battle armor. Spastime streaked around him. Light grew stronger and stronger, and a divine ring appeared. Five stars lit up within the divine ring. Long Chen's heart pounded. If he could uncover the secrets of the nine stars, that truly would be an immense surprise. The nine-star hegemon body art was not something to be cultivated normally. He was still unsure if he was cultivating it correctly. If he could understand the entirety of the nine-star hegemon body art, he wouldn't need to grope around in the dark. He might even be able to quicken the speed at which he unlocked the nine stars. A sixth star slowly appeared within the divine ring. Long Chen was delighted. It seemed that the heaven-shrouding mirror really could develop the nine-star hegemon body art. However, the void suddenly shuddered. A terrifying sensation of death filled Long Chen from head to toe. He instinctively retreated. Although he had retreated from the heaven-shrouding mirror, the divine ring inside of it exploded, and a torrential deluge of majestic power crashed down on Long Chen. Even before it touched him, the pressure caused his body to crack. Not good. Long Chen was horrified. He didn't know what kind of power this was, but he knew that if it touched him, not even 10,000 lives would be enough. Most terrifying of all, this power had locked onto him. Just at this moment, Sovereign Yun Shang's hand slammed into the torrent. Millions of swords of light shot out, slicing through the restrictions of space and time, stabbing through the surrounding stars. Chapter 2497 Nine Star Air Sovereign Yun Shang blocked the flood of energy charging toward Long Chen. A mirror image appeared on his palm as he slammed his hand into the torrent. The flood shattered. Sovereign Yun Shang was forced back several steps and slammed into Long Chen, resulting in Long Chen coughing up a mouthful of blood and flying back. Long Chen felt like his entire body had cracked and was only one step away from exploding. He was appalled, still not understanding what had happened. He had only seen millions of streaks of divine light shooting out of Sovereign Yun Shang's palm, slicing through this cosmos. The stars of this cosmos turned to dust when faced with that divine light. It was like fireworks were exploding. Long Chen stared in shock. The original starry sky around them had vanished. It was instead replaced with their dead remnants. Are you all right? The heaven shrouding mirror returned to its original appearance as if nothing had happened. Sovereign Yun Shang helped Long Chen up. I almost died. Big brother. Didn't you say? Long Chen shut his mouth. Asking like this was blaming Sovereign Yun Shang. I was careless. I didn't think that your cultivation technique would exceed the limits of the heaven shrouding mirror. Your own cultivation level is too low as well. So it doesn't have the power to look into even a fraction of the future. Going against that flow resulted in this backlash. Your cultivation technique is truly shocking. If my future self had not merged with this past self, I would not have been able to protect you, said Sovereign Yun Shang gravely. Things had gone astray from what he had expected. That was a very rare thing for him. Big brother, you. Long Chen suddenly realized that Sovereign Yun Shang's face was pale. Even the glimmer in his eyes had faded. The impact of this karma was too powerful. I used the cosmos reversal power to send the backlash away and scatter that energy. But I still had to endure a bit of it. Don't worry though. This is just a clone. And I'm already dead. Even if you hadn't come. Over the years. This clone would have faded. Said Sovereign Yun Shang. Looking at the wreckage of the starry sky. Sovereign Yun Shang suddenly laughed. Looking at Long Chen. He said. I always thought that you were the gamma breaker of the martial heaven continent, but now I understand. Understand what Yun Shang did not reply to that question. He pointed to the heaven shrouding mirror. This attempt was a failure. The heaven shrouding mirror only used up a bit of its energy. So you can try again, but don't try the same cultivation technique as before. I no longer possess the power to endure that power again. Long Chen was shocked. 
Just what kind of origin did the nine-star hegemon body art have for even a sovereign to feel such reverence for it? The backlash from it was something that even a sovereign had almost been unable to block. The origins of the nine-star hegemon body art far surpassed Long Chen's imagination. Looking at the heaven-shrouding mirror, Long Chen thought about it and then walked up to it once more. A flame lotus slowly condensed in his hand. Within the mirror, another flame lotus appeared. That flame lotus slowly grew. One flame orb appeared on top of the petals. One begat two. Two begat three. Then they all worked together to give rise to one flame orb after another. The star fall orbs continued to appear. Five. Six. Seven. The flame lotus in Long Chen's hand vanished. But within the mirror, the star fall orbs were continuing to increase. Previously, the strongest world extermination flame lotus that Long Chen had used was at the 7th star level. That was his limit. In the mirror though, an 8th star fall quickly appeared on the petals. So that's how it works. Long Chen suddenly let out a startled cry. The moment the 8th orb had appeared, the original 7 had suddenly dimmed before slowly lighting up once more. So by weakening the 7 star falls in that moment, it gives me more room for error and then I can easily condense the 8th star fall. Long Chen instantly realized how to condense the 8th star fall. The 8th star world extermination flame lotus that he was seeing in the mirror was something his future self had gradually improved. It was like how it was difficult for an ordinary person to jump over a 3 meter fall, but by creating a staircase, it became much easier. The 8th star fall required pulling back in order to advance. With this cushion room, it was possible to pull off the 8th star easily. The world extermination flame lotus shuddered. A 9th star fall appeared on all the petals. This was the complete 9 star world extermination flame lotus. 81 star fall orbs lay on top of its petals like miniature flame universes. At the core was a Teji diagram slowly spinning. It was like the core of the universe. Controlling how the flame lotus circulated. Boom. The world extermination flame lotus exploded. Long Chen's body shuddered and he retreated. The heaven shrouding mirror returned to its original appearance. Its power to divine the future has run out. The heaven shrouding mirror now only has enough energy to divine the past. As long as you have the correct vector, you can divine anything. What do you want to choose? Asked Sovereign Yun Shang. Anything? Asked Long Chen. Sovereign Yun Shang laughed. Ah, I misspoke. If it was before, I would have said anything, but now all I'm going to say is that yes, in theory you can divine anything, then I want to try it again, said Long Chen. Sovereign Yun Shang nodded, then try it. The power of the past should not be as powerful as the future. Perhaps I can block it. Many thanks. Long Chen cupped his fists gratefully. Long Chen was extremely curious about the nine-star hegemon body art. He wanted to know more about it because it was related to his fate. Originally, he had been thinking about using the heaven shrouding mirror to check his origins, but rather than that, he could try to see the past of the nine star hegemon body art. If it failed again, there would still be enough energy to check his past. Seeing a few fragmentary images was better than nothing. This way, he could obtain two chances. Long Chen stood in front of the heaven shrouding mirror and once more activated the five star battle armor. Light flowed within the heaven shrouding mirror. Long Chen involuntarily took a step back, ready to retreat. A long haired man appeared within the mirror. This man also had a divine ring behind him and five stars in his eyes. He stared at Long Chen coldly. Sovereign Yun Shang's pupils shrank. The appearance of this man seemed to shock him even greater than the spastime backlash. Long Chen was dumbfounded as he looked at the man in the mirror. What was this? Why would a person appear? Senior apprentice brother? Junior apprentice brother? Probed Long Chen. The man was like a statue glaring at Long Chen. After a long time, he finally spat out. You've lost the face of the lineage of the nine stars. You've already reached the level of the five star battle armor but are so weak. The five stars within this man's eye circulated and a boundless majestic pressure was unleashed. Its aura was identical to Long Chen's five-star battle armor, but it was unknown just how many times stronger it was. His hair slowly rose in an invisible wind. He seemed incredibly angry. To be a nine-star heir, you must cultivate the true essence of the hegemon body.
to cultivate the nine stars is to dominate the heavens, to dominate the earth, to slay devils and gods, within heaven and earth, only the nine stars are supreme, but your current self is a kind of blasphemy to the nine star hegemon body art, what face do you have to continue living in this world, do you know that your current appearance is a disgrace to the nine star lineage, the man grew angrier and angrier until he was shouting, his voice like thunder booming through the air, an undefeatable will unfurled, the shattered dust of stars was sucked over and formed a hurricane in the air above him, what are you talking about, demanded Long Chen, also angry, I'm going to clean up the lineage of the nine stars, the man roared and suddenly unleashed a punch, this one punch froze the space around Long Chen, this fist was unavoidable, this was not a normal lock, this was the result of a power that had reached a peak and suppressed all other laws. Boom. Long Chen furiously punched back with both fists, resulting in the void beneath him shattering. A tempest of astral winds raged. This man's power was incredibly domineering. It was like an angry sea crashing toward him endlessly. The instant their fists met, Long Chen felt like what he was facing was an entire universe's power. His bones cracked. Long Chen was shocked. They had the same five-star battle armor, the same divine ring, the same cultivation base, and the same aura. So why was the difference so great? You're such a disappointment. You can't even endure half my power. What right do you have to carry on the will of the nine stars? Who could possibly entrust the lives of the ten planar worlds to you? The man's anger grew upon seeing how taxing it was for Long Chen just to block this single attack. The power of his fist grew. The space beneath Long Chen exploded, and Long Chen's knees began to bend. This man's power seemed to be able to suppress an entire universe. Long Chen was actually being forced to kneel. Long Chen clenched his teeth. A furious will slowly rose within him, fanning the flames of anger. This oppression was a humiliation to him. Even though he felt like his body would explode, Long Chen continued to resist. The anger inside of him accumulated. Boom. Suddenly. Long Chen's eyes turned black, his body straightened and a violent aura exploded, forcing back the long-haired man. Chapter 2498 Senior Apprentice Brothers Gift Heaven or Hell There is no one capable of forcing me to lower my head. What's so great about a nine-star heir? I, Long Chen, am Long Chen. No one can give me orders. A heaven-shaking roar came from Long Chen and shook this world. It was like the roar from an ancient god. This was an unyielding will that would not lower its head to heaven or earth. It would not bend to any pressure. This was arrogance from deep within his soul. The current Long Chen was like a completely different person. His eyes were pitch black. He was like a devil god that had been sealed within hell for millions of years and had now escaped. How disgraceful. As a nine-star heir, you have a duty to protect the lives of the universe. To save the world from its desperate predicament but you have yet to condense the hegemon body star diagram even after reaching the level of the five star battle armor. You didn't cultivate properly. As a fellow nine star heir, I died in battle 360,000 years ago, and a strand of my soul essence ended up attaching to this tower. While my body died, this soul essence was not destroyed. I'm unable to reincarnate or return to the battlefield. As a nine star heir, to die on the battlefield was my honor. This kind of undying unliving form is practically a humiliation. Furthermore, what do I see here? I see an absolute disgrace to the nine star lineage. You have such potential with the nine star hegemon body art, but you cultivated it to this abysmal state. Are you trying to spit on our lineage? I'm going to clean up our lineage today. The long haired man charged at Long Chen, his voice full of both sorrow and rage. The five stars behind him lit up like five blazing suns. At the same time, his hands, palms, and the space between his eyebrows began to shine, linking up with the stars behind him. The energy of the stars flowed counterclockwise, while the energy in his hands, feet, and head flowed clockwise, resulting in an intense twisting in the void. A whine rang out in the air as if the world was moaning when his fist thundered toward Long Chen's head. A nine star air? So what? You cultivate yourself, and I'll cultivate myself. A hegemon body can be garbage. Power is to be respected. So what qualification do you have to say such big words? Long Chen's black eyes were icy cold. 
and his aura didn't have the slightest emotional fluctuation. He also unleashed a punch. Boom. Their two fists collided, and the stars behind both of them erupted with light. As a result, astral energy unfurled through this cosmos. The dust of the shattered stars in the sky began to reform, becoming giant spheres that seemed to be linking together. The void fluctuated wildly as their two powers clashed. Countless fragments of spastime danced chaotically around them as if they were fighting through a spastime tunnel. A roar came from both of them, and the stars behind them suddenly exploded at the same time. Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood and flew back. Sovereign Yun Shang caught him. Long Chen had fallen unconscious, while one of his arms was a bloody mess and broken. As for the long-haired man, his anger had been replaced with confusion. He stared at where his arm had been in disbelief. His arm was no longer there. It had been destroyed by Long Chen's power. What is going on? How could the power of the nine stars become so foreign? He muttered. The same cultivation technique can have different paths. Whether or not the path is correct can only be judged by those who have reached the peak, said Sovereign Yun Shang. The man was silent for a long while before he nodded slightly. Perhaps you are right. He then added somewhat regretfully. However, his personality has already split. The devil block has formed, and it won't let him go much further on his path. Every person has split personalities. Even the kindest people have some evil in them, and so the wickedest people have a trace of good in them. People are innately conglomerations of contradictions. As for saying that he won't be able to walk much further on his path, I disagree. My thinking just so happens to be the opposite of yours, said Sovereign Yun Shang. The long-haired man finally looked at Yun Shang closely. His pupils shrank. So you're a heavenly fate son, a son of the heavens. In truth, every person is a son of the heavens. The long-haired man was startled slightly and then laughed. How marvelous just at this moment. Long Chen woke up. He felt a sharp pain in his hand and circulated the energy of the primal chaos space to heal. Primal chaos energy. Seeing the way Long Chen's arm recovered. The long-haired man was further shocked. Ha ha ha. I understand. I understand. He suddenly laughed. All his anger and resentment vanished. Long Chen's head was still muddled. It seemed that something had happened, but he couldn't remember. The long-haired man walked over to Long Chen and patted his shoulder, suddenly becoming very friendly. Junior brother, I was a bit impetuous. As members of the same lineage, in terms of seniority, I am your senior apprentice brother. For a senior apprentice brother to teach a junior apprentice brother a lesson is normal. So I trust you won't take this too seriously. Right now, I'm very happy. My soul has been locked here for 360,000 years. Not alive but not dead. I've never been able to free myself. I've just been accepting this torture as punishment for not having properly cultivated and allowing myself to be killed in the end. As a nine-star heir, I have my own pride. Our pride does not permit us to kill ourselves. That is a coward's way out. Perhaps my punishment has finally come to an end. Your arrival has allowed me to see hope. It is time for me to leave this existence. Long Chen's fury instantly vanished for some reason upon that person patting his shoulder. Perhaps this really was an innate closeness due to their lineage. Long Chen was unable to form any hatred for him. Instead, he could only feel respect. Senior Apprentice Brother this was the first time these words sounded so sincere in Long Chen's life. I know you must have many questions, but there's not much time. So listen to me. The Nine Star Lineage has a mission to save this world. From the day you started cultivating the Nine Star Hegemon body art, your fate has escaped its original trajectory. We are blessed but also cursed. Our lives are full of misfortune to make us stronger. We have to work harder than anyone else just to survive. But when you understand your mission, you will understand what pride is. All right, there's no more time. Within the heaven shrouding mirror, there is something good. You can consider it my gift to you as an apology. The long haired man suddenly punched the heaven shrouding mirror. Countless cracks instantly covered the surface of the mirror. Long Chen jumped. The heaven shrouding mirror was not truly a material object, while it appeared to be a mirror. It was actually a condensation of some kind of law. It was an illusory object, but this fist had still shattered the laws of the heaven shrouding mirror. Shocking Long Chen. 
Why was there such a difference between the two of them? The cracks spread, but even though it appeared to be on the verge of shattering, it did not break apart. In fact, at the edges, it began to recover, fighting against the long-haired man's power. Damn, so much of my soul essence's power was used up in that last attack. The long-haired man's expression changed. The last blow with Long Chen had wiped out a huge amount of his power. Now he was actually unable to break the heaven-shrouding mirror. It's fine. I'm here too. Sovereign Yun Shang stepped forward, pressing a hand against the heaven-shrouding mirror. Me too. Long Chen took a deep breath. He had barely recovered from the last exchange, but he felt capable of unleashing one more attack. You can't touch it. The long-haired man immediately stopped him. When the heaven-shrouding mirror is broken, the power of the past and future will mix. The reversal of karma will instantly turn us to dust. Junior Apprentice Brother, work hard on your cultivation. When you arrive on the Heaven Regent's battlefield, make sure to kill some more devils. Return the humiliation that they've given us a thousandfold. Also, tell Yun Tian I'm sorry, said Sovereign Yun Shang. You, all of a sudden, the Heaven Shrouding Mirror collapsed. Sovereign Yun Shang and the long haired man also exploded, vanishing without a trace leaving Long Chen dumbfounded. The heaven-shrouding mirror transformed into fragments of spastime that slowly merged together into a platform. Atop this platform was a crystalline mirror. This mirror was much smaller, only the size of a palm. However, it gave off an incredibly ancient air. Countless runes were flowing around it, making it seem like an illusion. When Long Chen reached out to touch it, the mirror unleashed a ray of divine light that enveloped him. His body instantly froze. He was unable to move. Chapter 2499 Void Mirror Long Chen felt like his body had been shackled. The shattered heaven shrouding mirror reappeared in front of him. However, this time, when the heaven shrouding mirror formed, there was a tiny mirror beneath it. As the heaven shrouding mirror circulated, the small mirror below it began to change. One crystal after another came out of its back. Long Chen suddenly understood. This was the process of how the mirror on the platform was born. The illusory heaven shrouding mirror had created something real. The heaven shrouding mirror had no solid body. It was like a gateway toward the past and future. No one knew its origins or how it was formed. It was unknown whether or not it was man-made. Everything was a mystery, just like the ghost ships. Not even Sovereign Yun Chang or Long Chen's senior apprentice brother were able to give an explanation about the ghost ships. Perhaps they knew but refused to say. Just at that moment, the heaven shrouding mirror faded away and Long Chen was released. He reached out and took the mirror on the platform. He was unable to see his reflection within the mirror. What he saw was an endless starry sky. He swung the mirror in the air a few times and didn't see anything special. However, when he sent his spiritual strength into it, it suddenly blazed with light, and he hastily dodged to the side. A ray of light shot out of the mirror, ripping through the void. Anything within its path was turned to nothingness. Long Chen retracted his spiritual strength, and the mirror returned to normal. But now he was covered in sweat. I almost killed myself. Long Chen hadn't expected such a terrifying attack to suddenly shoot out of the mirror just because he sent his spiritual strength inside. He had almost blasted his own head away. Long Chen picked the mirror back up. He looked at the back of it and saw several strange natural runes on it. He didn't know how they were used. It seems that it's a divine item that requires the soul to control. But my spiritual strength is too coarse for this. That random attack sucked away the majority of my spiritual strength. But only because 90% of my soul energy was wasted. It seems that this treasure should be left for Meng Chi. Perhaps she can figure out how to really use it. Despite his spiritual strength being stronger than anyone else he had encountered in the same realm, he was not a soul cultivator. He had tried to learn some proper soul arts from Meng Chi so that he could unleash the potential of his spiritual strength, but he had given up. That was because the first step was to calm the soul, and he was unable to do so. Long Chen's soul energy was like a constantly raging river. It was never still enough for him to use in skillful soul arts. There was no other cultivation technique on the Martial Heaven continent that caused someone's soul energy to act like this. For other people, their soul energy was like a lake. Wind could cause waves within this lake. 
But when there was no wind, it was still. Due to this, Long Chen could only give up on the path of soul cultivation. This mirror was definitely incredibly precious for his senior apprentice brother to call it something good. Since he couldn't study it, he could only place his hopes on Meng Chi. Since you were born from the void and reflect the stars of the void, I'll call you the void mirror, decided Long Chen as he looked at it one final time before putting it away. Suddenly, the void shuddered and a whirlpool slowly formed. The shattered heaven shrouding mirror slowly reformed. However, this time, there was not such an awe-inspiring manifestation around it. Long Chen realized that this heaven shrouding mirror was like a fruit tree, while the void mirror was its fruit. Now that the fruit had been plucked, it would need to bear new fruit. It was unknown just how many years it would take for a new void mirror to be born. The void continued to shudder. His surroundings faded away, and a staircase appeared in front of him. He had been sent back to the 8th level of the tower. It seems that since I've taken the treasure, I have to leave. Long Chen nodded and looked back. He saw the staircase to the lower level. Long Chen descended. On the 7th level, countless resentful spirits pounced on him, forcing him to kill his way through them. The lower he went, the weaker their attacks grew, until he was finally out. When he was outside of the tower, the surrounding resentful spirits became illusory. Their attacks were unable to harm him. Long Chen looked up at the giant tower and sighed. Even a generation's sovereign could meet his end. Even a nine-star heir who was many times stronger than him had died on the battlefield. His soul essence was kept alive though, leaving him unable to rest in peace. Those who stood at the peak could still die. Whether it was Sovereign Yun Shang or his senior apprentice brother, he was unable to judge just how many times stronger than him they were, but they had still died. Is there no one in this world that can live forever? Are there really immortals? Long Chen's heart was heavy. Sovereign Yun Shang and his senior apprentice brother hadn't explained much, but he was able to grasp some clues from their words. However, those clues were unable to solve the heaven shrouding mystery before him. He felt like he was on an incomparably vast chessboard and had no idea where to go. Long Chen suddenly laughed. God or immortal, that's not what I seek. I don't want to live forever. I just want to live freely with the family that I've created to live a day is to be happy for a day to live a year is to be happy for a year. Even if our lives end tomorrow, we can still smile and face the world proudly. The worries that had been brought on by Sovereign Yun Shang and his senior apprentice brother were slowly wiped away by this laugh. The future was far too distant. It was better to focus on the present, even if they were struggling against a fierce tide. At the very least, Long Chen still had everything he wanted. Long Chen began to walk toward the aft of the ship. He didn't know how Yun Tian was, but either way, he had to gather with everyone else. There were quite a few constructions on this ship, but Long Chen didn't enter them. Yun Tian had said that they might not have enough time. Long Chen didn't know how much time he had wasted in the tower. He had to get off the ghost ship before it left the Starfield Divine World or he would be brought to unknown spastimes and separated from everyone forever. That was the worst-case scenario that he wanted to avoid. With every step he took, he saw different scenes. Some were peaceful, and some were bloody. There were scenes of people dancing and singing happily, as well as scenes of an intense slaughter. It was always the same ship, but it was passing through time, allowing him to see the lives of people from different eras. There were children running around as they played. Their laughter was infectious, almost capable of bringing people back to their own childhoods. There were also scenes of people praying, offering sacrifice to some existence. As they chanted fervently, Long Chen was unable to understand what they were saying. Once, he saw a man and woman creating new life beneath the starry sky in one corner, startling him. However, he was walking too fast, and that scene flitted past him. He didn't get to see the details. Long Chen paused and looked around, not seeing anyone else. He stealthily took a step back. It's not like anyone will see me. Regretfully, despite being the exact same step and distance, the scene had already changed, replaced with a bloody battle. TCH. I didn't even get a chance to study. Long Chen cursed himself for walking too fast. Despite that, he quickened his footsteps. The danger of this region had dropped immensely. 
The ones fighting in these scenes were not so powerful that their attacks were able to pass through space and time. Long Chen quickly reached the end of the ship, and the scene before him changed once more. He saw countless experts in black armor who immediately attacked him. Long Chen, get off the ship. Before he even understood what was happening, someone let out a panicked and furious shout from the distance. It was Mo Nian. Only now did Long Chen realize that he had finally escaped the illusions of the ghost ship. The ghost ship was now surrounded by an army. That army was already pouncing on him. The heaven-devouring black armor cores. Long Chen's heart shook. These warriors were filled with an aura of death. He wasn't able to sense the slightest vitality from them. Long Chen instantly thought of a bad possibility. The black armor cores were definitely revived by Yi Ming. He has probably gained complete control of the heaven-devouring Fiend King's dark energy, said Evil Moon heavily. Long Chen jumped off, charging through the black armor cores with Evil Moon. Those warriors were blasted apart into black mist as he charged through them. At this moment, Long Chen saw a giant chain dragging a large object. That object was the 10,000 Dragon Nest. The 10,000 Dragon Nest had now become a husk of its former self. It was badly damaged and was now being dragged by the ghost ship's anchor. The wreckage of the 10,000 Dragon Nest smashed into two tall mountains. Those mountains shuddered and became covered in cracks in an instant. Those mountains were like metal, without any vegetation capable of growing on them. However, even these tough mountains were unable to endure. Boom. As expected, they exploded, and the ghost ship continued dragging the remnant of the 10,000 ghost ship through the air until they vanished within endless darkness. Chapter 2500 Mishap The ghost ship sped off, vanishing into the void. Once the ghost ship disappeared, the chaotic flow of space dried up and vanished without a trace. At this moment, the heaven-devouring black armor cores pounced on Long Chen. A dark aura of decay came from their bodies as if they were from hell. Long Chen glanced around and saw that others were also fighting in the distance. Mo Nian was shooting giant arrows. Long Chen's divine ring appeared, and with Evil Moon, he charged through the black armor cores, turning them to dust. Evil Moon, what is going on? asked Long Chen. This scene was too shocking. The black armor cores seemed endless. Just where had so many of them come from? They are also a kind of dark race. When it comes to their source, they have a definite connection to the dark evil dragon race. Although we are not the same race, they are very difficult to deal with because even if their bodies die, their soul essence is not extinguished. They can be awakened by certain kinds of energy to continue fighting. Although their current power is less than half of their peak when they were alive. The might of these fallen spirits is not small. Back then, the Dragon King ended up exchanging serious wounds with their king, resulting in them both dying. The Fiend King must have left his inheritance behind, while Yi Ming most likely came here just to obtain that inheritance due to also possessing dark energy. Now he controls the power of the Fiend King, allowing him to revive the heaven-devouring black armor cores. Perhaps he has an even greater scheme behind this. You can't be careless, said Evil Moon heavily. Long Chen's heart shook. For the Fiend King to have exchanged fatal blows with the Dragon King meant that the two of them had to have been relatively evenly matched. Then the Fiend King's inheritance was equivalent to the Dragon King's inheritance. Did that mean that Yan Tian was the one fated to counter Yi Ming? Long Chen quickly approached Mo Nian's battlefield and realized that Mo Nian was covered in blood. He was currently fighting two powerful opponents. One was his mortal enemy, Di Fang, while the other was the one who had been silent for a long time, the heavenly genius of the everlasting families, Dong Fang Yuyang. Dong Fang Yuyang was covered in a red light that was like the sunrise. His manifestation was a mass of primal chaos. It was impossible to see what was inside. He and Di Fang were attacking Mo Nian when they saw Long Chen arrive. Dong Fang Yuyang snorted and suddenly unleashed a wave of blood chi. As a result, space twisted and he vanished. In the next instant, hundreds of Dong Fang Yuyangs appeared in the sky at the same time, attacking Mo Nian from every direction. Every one of them seemed to be a solid body. Dong Fang Yuyang, you're finally willing to come out of your tortoise shell. Long Chen sneered and joined in, slashing one of the clones. It was instantly blown up, and runes filled the air. There was no blood. 
It was not actually a true clone of flesh and blood. Be careful. This fellow's very insidious. I've been caught off guard by him. Mo Nian continued shooting arrows, sending Di Feng back with three attacks. After that, light flowed out of his bow, creating a starry barrier behind him that blocked over ten of Dong Fang Yuang's clones from reaching him. Mo Nian, your death is at hand. Even if Long Chen has come, it won't change your fate of being killed by me. Dong Fang Yuang suddenly laughed. All of his clones exploded at the same time, and Long Chen felt the world suddenly become heavy. It felt as if a giant boulder was crushing him, making him unable to move. This technique, Long Chen's expression changed. He thought of a bad possibility. Senior apprentice brother Di Fang, the two of them can no longer move. I'll leave Mo Nian to you. I'll take on Long Chen. Dong Fang Yuang charged toward Long Chen. Mo Nian's expression changed. Divine energy surged out of him as he tried to escape these invisible shackles. However, he was still unable to move. The chains were a law exceeding the scope of his divine energy. His divine energy was unable to touch them. Ha ha ha. Nice move. All right. Mo Nian, we can settle our grudges today. Di Feng hadn't expected Dong Fang Yuang to possess such an ability. Seeing Mo Nian bound, he sent his spear piercing toward Mo Nian's head. As for Long Chen, despite also being trapped, he wasn't struggling. He just watched Dong Fang Yuang and sent Mo Nian a message. It ends here. Di Feng smiled sinisterly. His spear was just about to stab through Mo Nian's head, but his body suddenly froze. What Di Feng looked down to see his spear covered by a white light. The brilliant divine spear quickly lost all its power and turned to stone. It didn't stop with his spear. His hand, arm, shoulder, and his entire body quickly turned to stone. At that moment, a dazzling sword cut through the air. Di Feng was stuck in his stone state and unable to resist. This attack, which seemed to contain enough power to chop through stars, slashed through Di Feng's head. It then continued without pause toward Mo Nian. However, Mo Nian's figure suddenly vanished just as this thunderous attack was about to reach him. The world rumbled. Di Feng was killed. A generation's heavenly genius fell just like this, without even knowing how he died. Mo Nian stood in the distance, staring in shock. He also had yet to understand. If it hadn't been for Long Chen warning him not to keep fighting the shackles but instead preserve his energy to escape at a critical moment, he might have been killed as well. Only now did he see the wielder of the sword was a white-robed man. It was Dong Fang Yuang. As for the Dong Fang Yuang that had been charging at Long Chen, he had vanished. Everything was strange. Long Chen suddenly clapped his hands. What a good trick. You must have been coveting after Di Feng's life for a long time. How laughable that Di Feng had no idea that the person who wanted to kill him the most wasn't Mo Nian or me but you. Dong Fang Yuang. The shackles binding Long Chen vanished. He appeared completely at ease. He hadn't fought the shackles at all. Dong Fang Yuang stood there with his sword with a confident smile. He no longer appeared as wretched and nervous as he had before. Ha ha ha. It seems that you realized a long time ago. Dong Fang Yuang laughed. The primal chaos of his manifestation shook, absorbing the energy of heaven and earth. The most shocking thing to Mo Nian was that after Di Feng was slain, his blood chi as well as the shattered remnants of his manifestation were sucked into Dong Fang Yuang's manifestation. You, you're, a heaven Caesar, exclaimed Mo Nian. A heaven Caesar. An extremely sinister existence that cultivated through slaughter. A heaven Caesar. An existence capable of toppling the entire world. It was said to possess the most sinister kind of power. The ability to take the talent, bloodline, divine abilities, and even karmic luck of those that they killed. There were several recorded cases of heaven Caesars appearing on the martial heaven continent. But as soon as their identity was exposed. They were immediately hunted down and killed. The martial heaven continent would not allow such a figure to grow nor would it allow any power to raise a heaven Caesar. If they were noticed, that power would be wiped out to the roots. Long Chen had been falsely accused of being a heaven Caesar. But in truth, everyone had known that he was no heaven Caesar. That had just been an excuse to kill him. However, today, Mo Nian was personally witnessing a heaven Caesar and it was someone he had never expected. Long Chen shook his head at Dong Fang Yuang. 
I didn't know for sure, but I always suspected you. My cultivation technique is special, so I could sense that you possessed some kind of power that others didn't. During the gathering of past and present heroes that your Dongfang family held, my guess is that you were picking out targets. After it, you ended up targeting me, which pissed me off. So I sent the sea demon race to break your legs. Unexpectedly, you really did endure, allowing yourself to be beaten rather than exposing your identity. You then spent the rest of your days hiding. That made me even more suspicious. But a guess is just a guess. I could never be sure. However, when you used that mysterious law to bind the two of us, I instantly knew that you were a heaven Caesar. Oh, why is that? Asked Dong Fang Yuiang with interest. At this moment, Dong Fang Yuiang's primal chaos manifestation had spread, blocking the black armor cores from reaching them. That divine ability had a very similar aura to Shi Ling Fang, but its power was even greater and more skilled. It must come from the Stone Emperor, Shi Chang Sheng's inheritance. That idiot Shi Ling Fang was killed before he could grow, but as a Heaven Caesar, you were able to steal his good luck. Now that you've advanced to the fourth step of Nether Passage, your comprehension of the Stone Emperor's divine abilities has surpassed him. So the lock came from Shi Chang Sheng. As for the blow you used to kill Di Fang, it was the Golden Pen Race's Void Breaker Divine Ability. In other words, you didn't just take the Stone Emperor's inheritance, but you also secretly stole Kung Pengzi's fortune when I killed him. With the power of two emperors, your target naturally moved to two other people. One was Tian Zizi, while the other was Di Fang. Unfortunately, Tian Zizi is not the corrupt emperor's descendant and didn't have that inheritance. So the bigger target was Di Fang. Am I right? Dong Fang Yuiang, Long Chen, you are forcing me to kill you. Dong Fang Yuiang sighed. He slowly raised his sword, and three figures gradually appeared in his manifestation. Upon seeing those three figures, Mo Nian clenched his bow tightly.